folks, welcome back to Mahjong Monday. Hope everyone's doing okay. We're talking about tattoos and stuff. Whether it's the nightmare before Christmas or getting Naruto tattoos. Naruto tattoos go kind of hard. I mean, like, I wouldn't necessarily want, like, my driver's license to have... You know, I, I don't want to show up to my driver's license photo in Sasuke cosplay. Actually, strike that from the record. I absolutely want to do that. Welcome back to Mahjong Soul, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good day. How am I doing? The AC was just incredibly stinky, but I'm extremely happy to be here. Should we get a little should we get a little channel points prediction going on? A little start prediction. Where are we gonna place in Mahjong? Ooh, baby. Al Boylan fan, I'm absolutely gonna play Headbangers Rhythm Royale. As a Rhythm Lord myself, as an actual capital M musician, lowercase m musician, I wanna play I wanna play Fall Guys, but every game is every game is rhythm based. I wanna destroy people and become esports ready. Can I tell you something? I did I did so much today, okay? I got my car washed, and no, it was not. You know, like, ooh, you sung's in a in a wet t white t-shirt and ooh, the water's going everywhere. No, I just drove my car through like an express car wash, left it in neutral. Can I get a one in chat if you agree with me? It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Like I, you know, how, like children going through the car wash. It's like, whoa, we're like in a new galaxy. There's so many different sensations and lights and sensors and stuff. And as an adult, you're supposed to be like, this doesn't even get my engine revved or whatever. This, I don't, I don't give a shit. Wake me up when we have to do taxes. And as an adult, you're just supposed to not, not care. I still had childhood wonder today though. Driving my car through the car wash. It wasn't bad. It absolutely wasn't bad. It was $10, which I thought was a lot. But afterwards, they let you go to like park in an area. Car parked in your area. Black paint reference. Uh, they let you park in an area, and once you're there, you can use, like, a free, like, heavy-duty vacuum to get out all the crumbly crumblies that you've accumulated in your car. Which I thought was really, really cool. I thought that was really cool, because I had a lot of- I had a lot of crumbs and detritus, both in the seat cracks and the- and the floor mats. And I got to suck them all up and never think about them again, so that was really, really nice. You got scammed? I think so, too. It was way too expensive. I like to- get snacks candy so i can eat it while it's in the wash that's really nice it's it's dinner and a show i was secretly hoping that someone would like hand dry the car afterwards because some some other car places do that but at this place they didn't do that still a very decent car washing experience i was extremely busy today not only did i do my car wash not only do my did i do my car wash i cleaned the toilet today Let me tell you something, okay? If if you're eating, continue eating. Because I don't even know how gross this detail is going to be. You would think afterwards from cleaning the toilet that I've never peed into the uh, toilet bowl a single day in my life. You would think that no pee that has left my body has ever actually made it into the toilet bowl. Instead, I've just peed on every single surface in, in the bathroom. The tiles, the walls, where the, 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 the little board where the, where the wall meets the floor. You would think that I've never peed directly in Target, ever. It was absurd. It was absolutely absurd. Throw the five. We don't need that. We don't need that right now. Peeing in your shorts keeps your toilet clean. Absolutely. Icy cubed to low, low. It's all going on the shorts. It's not all going on the shorts. I mean, I wish it was going on the shorts. If I was just peeing on my shorts, that would be fine. That would be fine. You know why? Because the pee on the shorts, like I've said many, many times before, it dries so fast. But the pee everywhere else, cleaning the bathroom is not very fun, but I felt like a goddamn hero after doing it. I felt like a, I felt like a gosh dang hero after doing it. Hopefully people are going to open their windows and bang a little pots and pans for me. Clean, cleaning the bathroom once. <laughs> No, it's not my first time cleaning the bathroom. Of course not. Of course not. I like cleaning. I did a lot of vacuuming today. I, I put... You know what? This is a reminder for anyone else listening. You know when you're like in your car and then you're like eating a little sloppy ice cream and then you're like, oh no, I don't have a... 
I don't have any um freaking napkins in my car. Here's a reminder to put a box of tissues in your car. I did that today. Get hard, stay hard. Thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. And hang on, all the twos are gone. The one should be safe right now. Uh, Zendaya is Michi. I think the red dragon should also be safe. Nine of circles, perhaps. Perha perhaps a nine, perchance to dream. I also did a cool boyfriend thing today, which was Beth was having a weird day. And so I got her, I was like out and about getting my car washed and stuff. So I just went to a boba shop. Mommy doesn't know daddy's getting hot at the boba shop getting a lemon green tea and then i and i got to give beth a nice little tea as a as a, as a treat meanwhile and you're like oh you suck she's so lucky to have you she's so lucky to have you meanwhile catch my ass eating all the leftovers that beth has prepared for me <laughs> for this week over the past weekend <laughs> Catch my catch my ass uh, wearing the clothes that Beth has neatly folded for me. Like not always, not always, rarely. But I, what I'm saying is, is that you know it's coalesced into a into a symbiotic relationship. Consider it BF alert. Skirt, psh, folks. This is the police s speakers. We've got to consider a boyfriend on I five right now. <laughs> Now watch me drink this boba in front of you. Bio music, man, that's sick. That's sick and twisted. I love it. Tectono lolo. Maybe we go all symbols with this hand. I don't really know where this hand is gonna go. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you go from? Cotton eyed yo. Uh, maybe this is gonna be a seven pairs hand, aka a seven layers hand. We got four pairs for a verse, no album out right now. Box of tissues. It's just good to have tissues in the car. You know what I mean? Sometimes you sometimes you'll spill a beverage. Sometimes you get a little you get a little food to go. You you drive through a drive through, and then suddenly you realize you don't have anything to clean your hands with. Sometimes sometimes you might have a runny nose in the car, and it's also nice to have a box of tissues. Then sometimes you're jerking off, going seventy, letting the autopilot take take control. It's nice to have tissues then too. What am I? Th what? Are how has daylight savings time affected you? Kana, thank you for asking. I was going to say this. I mean, I was talking about this in a YouTube video, so apologies. Apologies if you hear this later this week. But it's it's a nice little reset in the sense that like if you... Because I've been kind of going to bed at like midnight. Why? Kind of a bad boy. Kind of a bad boy staying up late. Kind of kind of like a kind of like a nocturnal little scamp right now. What is this? What is this? Okay, this is this looks scary, but it just seat wind half outside in. I was like, do you just Yakum on me? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. We're still in this. We're still in this. I've been going to bed at midnight and waking up like pretty late, but now it's like I'm going to bed at 11 and waking up at a normal time. So I like how daylight savings time has has, has allowed my body a nice little reset, you know? JP, hello, hello. I might have already said that. I might have already said that. Also, I need to tell you a really funny story, okay? I need to tell you a really funny story. This has some profanity in it. This has some profanity in it. So if you're a child, that's okay. This is like a cool stream, okay? But if, you, if you're a parent watching alongside a child, get them out of the room right now. Get them out of the room right now. So... I was playing League of Legends. Why you sung? I don't know how to fill my spare time. It is a huge fucking problem for me. I, it is a huge... I need to find a healthy after school activity. Do you know what I mean? I need to find a healthy after school activity. Because this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. I was playing League of Legends. I was playing the ARAM mode. It's for fun. The ARAM mode is not ranked mode. It is a for fun mode. It is a for fun mode, okay? And you get a random character assigned to you. I got assigned Ziggs. Someone else got to assign something else. They were like, can I play Ziggs? And I was looking at all the other characters and I was like, I'm really sorry. I don't know how to play the other characters. 
And then someone someone re-rolled into a champion that I that I do like playing, a supportive champion. I switched over to that. I switched over to that character and I was like, okay, Ziggs is yours now, smiley face. Because I was just trying to be a nice guy. They took Ziggs and then they wrote in the chat, thanks, bitch. Why? Why why would you do that? And then and then and then they wrote thanks b1 tch even though they wrote the even though they wrote the even though they wrote the normal b word moments ago i could not believe it and then i looked up i looked up their account afterwards why i I, I don't know, dude. If someone stabs you in the throat, do you go to the police station afterwards just to try? You know? You know what I mean? Uh, oh, I should have cheated that. I should have cheated that. Now I'm going to deal into the dealer half flush, man. And then, and then, and then they had a, they, they like, it was a bot account. Like, they literally just purchased this account from like a server because I'm assuming this person purchased an account because their previous account got perma banned because they were saying mean things I don't want to keep playing League of Legends man League of Legends is not I, the people are not very nice there I don't I don't like mixing around with that crowd I was trying to be so nice because I was in a good mood and stuff. Or I was just trying to be nice in general. Thanks, bitch. Like, why? Uh, did you dislike their YouTube videos? Oishi, I've only done that once, okay? I've only done that once where... Where someone... Where, where, where someone was mean to me in League of Legends. But, the, but then I searched up their account and saw that they had a YouTube channel. And then I went through and disliked every single one of their videos. <laughs> I've only done that once. Your honor, in my defense, I am but a human. I am but a human. Okay? We're just trying to get into Tempa before the end of the round. Go ahead. Cuff me. Go ahead. I would do it again in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you think that toxic players get punished in League? Icarus Quack... I think that they might, but here's the thing. You can buy a new account for like $3 that, that has all like the trappings of a, like a used account or whatever, you know? And so as a result, it, I don't really think so. I think that they've realized that so if they don't ban toxic people, they'll make more money. You know, the more players that they'll have, the more money that they make. So I think they're economically disincentivized to uh, to ban the mean teenagers. But it but it but it creates a bad environment for the responsible adults who are just trying to kick back and have a good time. There should, be, there should be a Judge Judy for gamers. Here's the thing. I'm going to vision board this for myself right now. I'm going to just straight up manifest it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, no. You said we couldn't possibly ask you. No, it's fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll decide who gets to uh, who gets to have fun and who doesn't. I'll absolutely. I will, I will take on that mantle. I remember playing with a friend who had his account since beta and had a special skin. Everyone was clowning on him and saying he bought that account, but in reality, he just sucked at League. I bet he was nice, though. Like, I don't really care if someone's really good or really bad. A lot of the people who play League of Legends, they're like gamers. You know what I mean? Like, capital G gamers. Oh, I want to win. Uh, like... Like, I get it. I get it. You, you, we, you and I play different video games for different reasons. Uh, frequently on the, on the League subreddit, there'll be a post that's like, I'd rather have a toxic person in my game who carries than a polite person who feeds. And I'm like, no, I am not like that. I am genuinely not like that. Because why? It's imaginary video game points, my guy. It doesn't mean anything, bozo. I would rather have a nice person that sucks ass at the game than a mean person being mean to me like i don't know I, I don't know maybe capitalism has everyone just like red pill to the extent where they're like oh but the bottom line we gotta get the number going up like i i don't know i i genuinely don't know what has people so fixated on the number going up i just hope both teams have fun tectone actually me actually me 
I've been on a six game winning streak in ranked League of Legends and I do not want to keep playing because it is such a bad environment. The winning does not matter to me. The winning straight up does not matter to me. I do not care. If they heard your impressions, they'd be nice to you. Pina, have you ever heard of restorative justice? Lois, ma, I'm a fucking asshole. point is i don't want to keep playing league of legends i want to find something new to do with my spare time i've been doing the new york times games why because when you're doing wordle no one's like suck ass bitch when you can't figure out the wordle you know what happens when you don't figure out the wordle you don't have to tell a single goddamn soul and guess what you can try again tomorrow morning no one's speak to you when you can't do the wordle by the way you're looking at a guy that solved the wordle in three tries today yep yep Yep. I might I might have a two inch wonder, but I have a three try wordle record today. So why not play Suica? I gotta play Suica. I gotta play Suica game. I think that that is honestly like the path towards salvation. Others have argued the path towards salvation is the removal of desire. Nope, the internet has made me too horny for that. I, what about playing Suica game until my eyes glaze over and then I can go to bed that night and, and not be miserable? Uh, what am I, what am I going to do here? I think I, I think I discard the, the nines. I mean, these nines aren't going to do anything for us either. We could have gotten a triplet of those nines, maybe, but we couldn't have gotten a triplet of these nines. Maybe we just should have discarded this one. I downloaded Suica, but I'm not vibing with it. It's not for everyone for sure. And I'm genuinely super torn on whether or not to play Suica game or Rhythm Headbangers, uh, Rhythm Head Headbangers Battle Royale for tomorrow's stream. It's a very, it's a very difficult decision. He's a bit of a flirt, but I'm gonna give him a chance. He's pogging up. He's flying by the seat of his pants. Dare I discard the four of bamboo here? I mean, the Vivian Westwind is an interesting debacle. Can they have a 2-3? No one can have a 2-3. Could they have a 5-6? I mean, they've discarded the 7, but but that's after they called Ricci. So I don't think the 4 is as safe as we'd like it to be. No. Okay. Right Lord's going to win this one. I mean, we Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. We're just staying in here. We're hanging out. We're trying to have a good time right now. Orangees. I like that name. I like that name. What else did I do? I feel like I did a million things. Oh yeah, I mean, I already talked about this, but I'm gonna talk about it again. I added some Family Guy emotes to the Discord server. Pina, did you have to find, do you have to make your own Lois Griffin emote because there wasn't any available online? Lois, yes. <laughs> and there wasn't a good Stewie either. There was a good Peter, because everybody, Everybody's pogging up with Peter. Pina, Lois. Stewie also had some good representation, okay? No taxation without representation. That's okay. Stewie's well repped in the in the Discord emote space, okay? Stewie slash Trump is pretty good. <laughs> well, Brian, if the DOJ wasn't so corrupt, then I wouldn't be on trial right now. I felt like I did a million chores today. It was nice. I didn't I didn't get hooked on phonics today. Like I didn't get super, super addicted to YouTube today, which was really, really nice. Like I really appreciated that. I think I just got lucky today. I'm fighting the YouTube addiction day by day. Cocaine dealer tells you to do less cocaine. Cocaine dealer asks, asks you to applaud for him as they've not done, as they're trying to quit cocaine. I know, dude, I know, but I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to do less and, and today was a really really nice step in the in the right direction did the car wash I felt like it just did a million things I, I vacuumed a little I vacuumed a little someone's got to come up with a better vacuum system because because every time I finish up vacuuming I have a I have a nice cordless vacuum sorry to flex but let's just say uh let them hey Marie Antoinette voice let them cordlessly vacuum I have a cordless vacuum and afterwards you can like expel all the dust in there by like kutunk, like just like 
It's like a trap door. They built a trap door in the damn, uh, in the damn vacuum. And then, uh, like, it bottoms out, and then the, um, all the dust falls through. But once the dust hits the garbage can, it, like, also gets in the air. And you're, like, the whole point of the vacuuming was so that the dust is localized, not in the air. It is a Dyson. It is a Dyson. Does it make the law and order sound? Gong, gong. It's got executive producer Dick Wolf written on the, uh, written on the spokes of the vacuum. <laughs> spokes. <laughs> on the handle. <laughs> like dishes, laundry folding. The shit is hype and I love it. Dude, I genuinely love, I genuinely love cleaning. I did some, I did some vacuuming today. I did some dishes today. Doing dishes is not bad, but my OCD having ass is not having a good time doing dish doing dishes. Koma, Mitsuya, hey, welcome, welcome. Uh, can we get some of you sung psychological prisons just to show them that the the Twitch community is a very different animal than the than the YouTube uh, YouTube community. We're all trapped here. We're all trapped here, and the, the pilot is the pilot is currently spouting venom into the overhead uh, overhead speakers. God, I wish I loved cleaning. I don't love it all the time, but after I get into it, I'm like, this shit feels awesome. Like, because it's just like the self-care that I like doing. It is genuinely the self-care uh, that I like doing. Bruno Var Mars be like, that's what I like? Dad having fun at a barbecue be like, that's what I like? Um, What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Dude, my OCD having ass was not having a good time doing dishes. Can I get a... I mean, I won't ask for a one in chat. Because I don't think anyone's going to type a one in chat. But I'll just say this. I have a very hard time just washing things once. If I'm if I'm washing a pan... If I'm washing a pan in the, in the, in the sink or what have you... What am I going to say? Down by the river? Yeah, if I'm washing a pan in the sink, I soap it up with the sponge and then I rinse it off and then I soap it off and I so soap it off. Oh my God. My brain wants to say, my brain wants to say the thing really, really badly. My, uh, I, and then I soap it again and then I soap it again and then I, and then I rinse it off again. It is, it is useless. I don't think that the second one does anything, but it makes me feel better every single time. And it's just like, man, like, th th this is genuinely why the OCD, or whatever this is called, sucks sometimes. Because I know I don't have to do it. I know I don't have to do it, and yet, I feel so uncomfortable if I don't, that I'm just like, oh, You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Soaping off? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get soaped off in here! Twitchy Sung is like the scarecrow in that problematic Batman movie. You want to know how I got this straw hat? <laughs> I don't know what the scarecrow is. My cultural knowledge isn't that good, so I'm just trying to freestyle about what I think that the scarecrow could do. I love cleaning in an ADHD-driven rage for the serotonin to leave halfway through. Icy cubed. I'm in this tweet, and I do not want to be here. I'm in this tweet, and I don't like it. No, that was right. You got it. Any tips for a new Mahjong player? Coma? There's there's a lot of good resources online. I think that if you YouTube Richie Mahjong strategy, oh my gosh, slamming the Richie button immediately. Two, uh, one one Richie stick is mine. One's left over from the night before. Uh, 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 there's a lot of good Richie Mahjong strategy videos on YouTube that are really nice, and you can also Google Richie Book One. It's a free PDF. There's not a lot of jokes in it. Like there's no jokes in it, which is the only thing that I dislike about Richie Book One. But it is. So useful in terms of strategy. It's tough. It's tough having it's tough having like OCD and and washing your washing your hands and stuff. Because the germophobia, like, dude. Oh yeah, I mean, germophobia isn't bad. Uh, it's not like there was like an actual pandemic a few, you know, just a, just a fortnight ago. You know, that was really bad. I was like. I was like kind of struggling with the with the with the hand washing before then and then after that I was just like nope <laughs> it's game over I'm gonna wash my hands a million times if I don't have to re one two three r i h one two three thank you for the follow welcome welcome 
Is is this Pinfu? Shane, this is not a Pinfu. Exactly for the reasoning that you're you're saying. Our pair has to be a non-Yakuhai pair. So in this situation, our pair can't be the east wind. It can't be the south wind because it's the it's the prevalent wind. It can be the north and it can be the west. Uh, but it can't be any of the dragons either. So this is just an okay situation for us. Those discards hurt my soul. I know we could have had three big dragons here. I love it when you call me Big Dragon. Nerdiest, nerdiest kid who just s discovered rap music be like. It was nice. It was nice. Dude, I was reading the reviews of all the uh, car wash places near me. Dude, every single... I don't want to dox myself, okay? But literally every single car wash near me is rated like three stars on Yelp and Google. And I don't even know how that's possible. I'm reading the reviews and the reviews are like... They literally, like, they scratched up my car. So I drove, I drove 20 minutes just to get to a, just to get to a decent car wash with, with middling reviews. I didn't want one that would scra scratch up my, well, not very expensive car, but still, it doesn't really matter. I just didn't, I just didn't want anyone to scratch me. Who am I? Fighting a Meowth in Pokemon Yellow? How do you get your car scratched up with a sponge? onio -san, that's what I'm saying. But you never know who's out there, you know what I mean? It's like there's evildoers in this world. Sometimes the evildoers will put like a card reader, like a card stealer at like checkout at a 7-Eleven. And then they'll steal all your information. Sometimes people will glue, like Gorilla Glue knives to the car wash sponges just to scratch up your car apparently. If the Yelp reviews that I'm reading have any sort of basis in reality. Sponge has dirt trapped in it. Ah, I mean, samesies, samesies. The DIY car wash places I've been to a, I've done DIY car wash for the last like three car washes. It's fine. Don't get me wrong. It's fine. But like, I don't need that kind of stress in my life. I'm watching a timer go down from eight minutes to zero minutes. It's like, it's like I'm trying to finish up my essay at the damn SATs, and, and that's why uh, Lord of the Flies proves that there's no no good people in the world. That's why I think that I should get to go to college. Like, like ah, that is not an environment that I excel in. Uh, I don't like I don't like getting rushed at the DIY car wash. And guess what? It's also ten dollars. <laughs> it's no it's no more it's no more expensive than 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 driving through a little express guy. You know what I mean? What is dirt but knives for cars? Tic Tac Tiger, that's so true. You working on a dissertation or what? What is grief if not dirt everlasting? So true. So true. Do you have a favorite poem? I don't really have a favorite poem, I don't think. I mean, I like that. I like the, 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 the poems that you can meme on. I mean, that's not really what you want to hear, but like, that's, that's true. Like, like the memeable poem, I, I love it. Forgive me. I have eaten the plums that were in your icebox. They were so juicy and scrum diddly umptious or whatever it's called, okay? That's not the actual text of the poem, but do you know what I'm talking about? I've eaten the plums in your icebox. Apparently, and I, you don't have to believe me, and I don't know if I believe this either. Apparently, that poem is about infidelity. You know what I mean? Apparently that poem is about infidelity. I don't particularly see it that way. I kind of see it as like, sorry, I ate the plums that were in your fridge. But it's like, ooh, they were so, so juicy and forbidden. The plums, you know what I mean? Have you read the the poem Alone with Alone with Both by Robert Frost? JP, you're not gonna fool me today. No. That that is Alone with Both of these nuts. So I'm not gonna get caught by that one. I'm just gonna skirt. Just gonna skirt on by. No, I haven't. I, I really want to check it out though. I mean, it's not really a poem, but I guess I like the uh, the Canterbury Tales in the original Middle English. Oh, you sunk. Why why do you say that? Oh, oh, no, it's no big deal. I just kind of, I, you know, I guess I just, uh, I, I kind of have the, have it, have the first few lines memorized in the original Middle English. What the top with her showers old? 
Pina, Juan was opera with her shower. So fun. I guess it's kind of impressive. I guess it's kind of impressive. But that's the only poem that I like. The reason that I like the uh, icebox poem is because it's so memeable. It's so memeable. Forgive me. I have eaten the two of circles that were in your Richie Pinfu hand. They were so juicy and so delicious. You know? It's so memeable. This is the best stream on the internet. <laughs> oh. I like that Dylan Thomas one about not going gentle into that good night. I like that one too. That one's also pretty memeable, but it's also like a good poem. What is, what is that poem about? Not going gently into that good night? Is, is that poem about like, hey brother, you gotta stay up in rage with us. You know what I mean? We gotta go bar hopping tonight. Dude, I don't want to yuck anyone's yum, but like bar hopping. I don't know, man. I don't like drinking in the first place. I don't, I don't like alcohol in the first place. Why? Christian stream. Absolutely a Christian stream. Uh, don't watch pornography. Don't smoke the devil's lettuce. I don't, I don't, um, uh, I don't know. I don't abide by any of that. I don't abide by any of that. Uh, what do I like? Mm, Richie Mahjong and being responsible and washing my dishes. No, I, bar hopping is like, I genuinely do not. Oh! Okay, so let me explain what's happening here. Fur a 10 Richie. Fur a 10 Richie. Why? I don't know, dude. I'm zuzzy today. So Fur a 10 Richie, we can't win because we've discarded one of the winning tiles that we've had. However, however, however. However, we can still sumo this hand. And if we sumo the one of circles, holy guac a moly. Oh! Fur Tenrichi. Protagonist vibes. Genuinely chosen as the protagonist. Sometimes Fur Tenrichi is okay. Some nights to stay up sumoing this Fur Ten. I'll absolutely take it. It's about cracking a cold one with the boys, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, class. Today we're going to talk about that one Walt uh, Whitman poem that starts with I sing my body electric. Who would like to start? Yes, you uh, in the green, which is weird because I should know your name because I'm your teacher, but you in the green. Uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Yusung. I think it's about cracking open a cold one with the boys. Full marks. Everyone can go home. T everyone can go home early today. But yeah, the idea of like drinking at a one place and then having to go to another place to drink again. Oh, oh, come on, man. Didn't we, didn't we already finish at the first place? I don't, I don't, I don't want to go to, you can't make me. Shinji-kun, you have to go to the next bar to, to, to order the same beer that you got in the last bar and pretend that you like it. Misato-san, I don't want to do social drinking. Alcohol makes my body feel bad and like itchy and stuff. Shinji-kun, you have to get into the Stella. <laughs> you have to pretend that you enjoy IPAs. Ugh. Hey, hey, what's with the, what's the deal with all these young dudes with these bros being into uh, NFTs and IPAs. What what's next? Alphabet soup? I don't know if that was a joke. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if that was a joke. It's kind of social commentary for sure. I don't know if it's necessarily a joke though. I I I, I it's it's impossible to say. Shinji kun, get in the line. I mean, we could chi this to try to get into Tenpai. What am I gonna throw right now, though? What 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 is a fold if not three of characters everlasting? Seven of characters. Have you heard of this? Have you heard of this one, Kevin? Crossword's gonna gonna call Richie with the exact same tile as they called Richie with before. I mean, this is a this is a weird situation. There's three sevens on the board right now. Just took out Tomato Town. Oh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna throw away the eight so banned because maybe we could, maybe we could uh, still get into Tenpai, but I don't think, I don't think this is that bad. 
Seven of circles being a safe tile is kind of nice. Or four of circles being thrown there because now we don't, they don't have a five, six. They could have an eight, nine, but the eight, nine is kind of ass with it. So I'm going to go a little Suji gaming here. Going to go a little Suji gaming here. Dude, can I tell you something? I don't know who needs to hear this right now. Literally, this is like a your music saved me kind of a moment. Uh, I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but um, did you know that green tea has caffeine in it? Dude, apparently this has caffeine in it. This is a Itoen Hoji cha or whatever. Apparently green tea has caffeine. Did you know this? Hear about this one, Kevin? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Okay, some of you typing yes are just like pretending. I, I I refuse to believe that this is common knowledge. What are you gonna tell me next? Olives grow on trees? No, absolutely not. This, 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 I, and, and I was like, man, I was like talking to Beth, like she was like, oh yeah, those have caffeine in it. I was asking her and she was like, yeah, those have caffeine in it. And I was like, uh, oh my God, I've been slamming these before bed every night. Cause they're kind of like a nice, ooh, like they got a nice vibe to them, right? They got a nice vibe to them at night. And I'm like, why can't I not fall asleep? Why do I feel fucking wired right before bed? Dude, these have caffeine in them. It's kind of nuts if you think about it. Hear about this one, Kevin? Black tea too? Why did God have to do this to us? You know what I mean? Coma, thank you for your honesty. Thank you for your honesty. Does your bottle have a haiku on it? Oh my God. Our bottle has a haiku on it. Ah! I could have been reading haikus this entire time. Okay, here's the haiku. Our time is short. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? This is not. Our time is short. This is only a haiku if you do. Our time is short. To treat each day like it's your last. Breathe deeply and smile. By Bob Corimer. Hey, Bob Corimer, why don't you review that time? Why don't why don't you review that first line one more time, Emmer? Okay, because there's something wrong with that first line. Short is not. Short uh, is not- what are you, doing dickens? Why are you pronouncing every single T at the end of the words? I noticed their haikus are awful. Dude, I gotta get into the haiku writing business. Seems like anyone can do it. No offense. Dude probably had chat GPT create them. This, I'm gonna come up with a haiku off the top of the dome piece that's gonna blow them out of the water. I'm gonna genuinely try. Here we go, 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 here we go. Here we go. Whispers in the wind. Secrets of past and present. Time is moving fast. One in chat if you're fucking crying right now. One in chat if you're crying. One in chat if you're crying. Nobody lie. Nobody lie. Genuine moment. Genuine moment. One in chat if you're crying. Thank you. Other, other, other people. Oh, I don't. Oh, oh. The other people online be like, oh, it's so ironic. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to ever really admit that I'm into anything. No. Unironic moment. That was a beautiful haiku. Now here's a funny haiku. Now here's a funny haiku to, you know, get get us all laughing again. Mm. Sometimes I fart. So. Loudly, it affects others. Call it poopy time. One in chat if you're one in chat if you're laughing right now. One in chat if you're laughing. One in chat. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Parthenax, hello, hello. These are the girl Luigi. These are good haikus. Tic Tac Tiger. I don't even know what you're writing right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was moving. Not as good as the Nancy Drew one. Oh my god. For those of you who don't know, there's like a game developer that worked on Nancy Drew that wrote like a that wrote like a blog post and in their blog post it's like good game design should be like a haiku. Shorted to the point where meanwhile you're playing Nancy Drew games and you're like, ah oh, yes, you have to combine the chewing gum item with the sp sponge item just so you can get the It is not okay. They are not okay in there. They are not okay. What do I get rid of right now? I want the chance for the pure double sequence. I get rid of the four and then the two, right? I throw, I throw some of my risky tiles. I mean, it's risky because Leffler looks like they have a pretty ready hand right now. 
I sub for emotes. That I was thinking about ending it funny with refrigerator because refrigerator is a five syllabic word in and of itself. That's kind of a cheat code if you ever need to write a haiku. I think that poetry is like in a, in a tough spot right now. I don't think that poetry, I mean, poetry is probably still having a moment, right? Do I call the Ricci here? Do I call the Ricci here? I mean, yes, right? Yes, I, I think I absolutely do. Ricci, Pinfu, it's no pure double sequence, but it's it's a decent enough Ricci. We could wait on the two or the five. A ton of tiles left over that we can that we can potentially Ron Weasley from. Left Lord already has a hard time folding, so we're in here. We're in here. If we win a big enough hand, by the way, we're in South 3. We're careening towards the end of the game. We, we might be able to dethrone Right Lord from first place. And you know what? That'll feel pretty good. Is slam poetry part of the comeback? Here's my take about slam poetry. I think it's good. I think that the people dunking on it are mean people. But I will say this. Whenever I'm watching a slam poem performance, I'm like, I'd rather watch a play. You know what I mean? I'd rather I'd rather watch someone act and do a monologue. And and it's just like it's just like diet monologue, you know? And and that's why that's why I'm like a little lukewarm on the slam poetry. Hey, what was uh what was LeBron James's favorite pe par genre of literature? Slam dunk poetry. Don't show weakness, you sung. Don't show weakness. Don't show weakness. If you're confident after a joke, if you're confident after a joke, people are gonna people are gonna pog up with you. Just just be confident. Just be confident. People people don't even know what they're laughing at these days. You know what I mean? It's like if you're if you're loud enough, people are gonna laugh. Rupee car, etc. Keep in mind the one <laughs> the one rupee car poem that is forever ingrained in my memory is. I'm I'm made up of 70% water. Of course I'm emotional. That one makes me want to There's no mincing words, right? That one makes me want to die. Can can we just can we just all agree on that? I don't I don't know if we're ready to all all just like vehemently agree on that or not. I don't like it. I think a lot of poetry, the kind that you you can buy at a Urban Outfitters is very like Zoomer bait. You know what I mean? Like, these are just funny tweets. You're not... This isn't... The, the, the intention behind this was to make money. To have, like, a cool cover that you could put on a coffee table to, sh to Instagram later. It's or to, to, you know, to put in your bathroom to show that, yeah, I shit in here, but sometimes I read poetry in the bathtub, you know? I, I don't... I don't know. I'm a curmudgeon now. I'm yucking other people's yums. It's a bad AIM status. Absolutely. Absolutely. The only one I remember is the one about being finger blasted. Ellie, why did you write that? And then why did I read it? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, that sounded really cruel. I, I'm genuinely laughing so hard because yeah, that one's also fucking ingrained in my memory. It's like... It's like, I'm going to try to quote it from memory. And this is a terrible... I, I don't know why I'm doing this. But basically why I'm doing this is because I'm suffering. So I'm going to make everyone here suffer, okay? Did you bring enough suffering for the class? Yeah, I did. Here here it goes. The, uh, we've, we've posted it in the Discord, right? It's it's Rupi Carr reading one of their own poems. And it's about getting finger blasted. Because it's like, you were trying to... You were... You are you are using your fingers to search for honey inside me. Because I would not come or something i it sounds you're like you sound that sounds awful that sounds awful why would you say that why would you say that out loud on this platform it's because it's real it's because it is real can someone please find the poem and post it in the post it in the chat because then we can then we can all look at it together hang on i gotta go pee peeing very strongly the darkness awaits I gotta go pee right now, pay off the second place semi daughters. I gotta pee right now. I'm not gonna get it on my shorts at all. I'm gonna get it into the toilet. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play risky at all because I just cleaned the toilet.
Dude, did you? Oh, Ellie found it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You, you, uh, you must have known you were wrong when your fingers were dipped inside me, searching for honey that would not come for you. Dude, that's, that shit is miserable, man. Like, come on. Oh my god. Holy. Oh my god. Dude, we're all worse off. But also, you know what I was thinking about? Jerome House, hello, hello. Balier, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Pretty mid. I agree with you. You know what I was thinking in the, uh, thinking in the bathroom? First thing was, good thing I have both hands to hold my big penis. Second thing was, second thing was, imagine if this is someone's first stream and I'm screaming a rupee, a paraphrased rupee car poem into the microphone about fingering like what what kind of experience is that for a new viewer you gotta you gotta steer me away from this okay start prediction by the way where are we gonna place in mahjong here we go i put a whole habanero on my pizza today and now my stomach is on fire parthor next is that something that happened to you you co quoting a rupee car poem but i gotta ask i gotta ask instant lifetime sub <laughs> There once was a man named Yusung. When he talked about olives, he was so wrong. He had piss on his shorts, could do impressions of sorts. And his wonder was only two inches long. You know what? I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. As a new viewer, I'm laughing my ass off. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> you know what? I mean, I don't really know where this hand is going to go. I'm going to be honest with you. Where did this hand go? come? Where did this go? Where did this hand go, Cotton Eye Joe? As a as a new viewer, I'm deeply concerned and aroused. Giant Robo Sloth, you're a crisis actor right now because you are not a new viewer. You are absolutely not a new viewer. You are Bane Voice. I was born in the Twitch chat, molded by it. I've never seen the damn movie, okay? I've never seen Batman Does Bane or whatever. That's probably not what it's called. <laughs> it's not like Debbie Does Dallas, like Batman. Batman does Boston. That's not that's not what the Batman films are called. They're always called like the Dark Knight resurges. Like the 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 evil the big the big bat flies or something, you know? I think that the I think that gritty movies, come on. What is the what is the what is come on. We can't make movies gritty for the sake of being gritty. You know what I mean? You know what? You know what I'd rather have? Instead of all these movies being gritty, I prefer that all these movies be litty. Sheesh, the One Piece. Look, look, you might have not liked that just now, but but you have to understand. The 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 Gen Zers or the, the millennials in the chat, the Zoomers, they're laughing right now. They they're like, you son, you get me, you get me, you finally get me. You, you sung has only seen the mat mat versions? That's not true. That's not true. I think that, like... I don't know, man. I think that, like... Younger... You sung was, like... Uh, no, we cannot start talking about this. We cannot start talking about this. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have all the sevens. I have all the sevens. There's no way that they have it. There's no way that they have it. Okay, four is kind of interesting. The four seven probably would have dealt me in. You know how, like, there's those ads? I mean, I've never been onto a pornography website, but you know how those, there's those ads that are, like, Simpsons hentai? And you're like, what's the, what's going on here? You know, homie, your, your, your fingers were dipped in honey. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the most cursed thing that I've ever said in my entire life, by the way. I'm sorry that you had to witness it. And then you're like, that's kind of interesting, because like you can you can connect with an IP in a new way. We cannot keep talking about this. I think it I think it works. Like the the, the charm of that has worn off. I think for society, we got to talk about something else. We got to talk about this. We got to talk about something else. Oh my god. Hi a one fifty. Thank you for the follow. I I cannot I cannot condone your following. I I cannot blood. I cannot Christian this moment. Okay. Holy guacamole. Oh my goodness gracious. Am I excited? I mean, this weekend, I think my parents are going to visit me. So, 
you know, my parents, mm, they they said the thing, they said the famous line, which is, you don't have to prepare anything. <laughs> What's another word for that phrase? They lied. They lied. Beth and I are like trying to, trying to like come up with some restaurant options that we can at least go to just to have like an itinerary for everyone. We might make some uh, lemon lemonade or some pomegranate juice. You know, that's like a fun, fun for the whole family kind of an activity. That's kind of okay. Simpsons porn hasn't been good since seasons three through nine. Yeah, bus channels this is the funniest thing I've ever read. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Cause we have a lot of triplets and a lot of like Zuzzy stuff going on in our hands, but probably it's the case that, um, I mean, is this ever all triplets? If we draw into another pair, I think this is all triplets, but oh, there's a one, two, three. We can maybe just play this hand normally. I hate to do it to you, but I love to watch it walk away. Maybe we can play this hand normally. So I got kind of a busy weekend lined up, lined up for me. Hence all the cleaning and getting the car washed right now. Trying to, trying to get all my ducks in a row. Doing chores feels okay. I think that sometimes though, that like, you know how like sometimes people, people's advice when you're really stressed is like, oh, make a to-do list, make a to-do list. And I think that it is generally, I think that that is generally okay advice. Making a to-do list makes it feel like you're really Spider-Man. It makes it feel less stressful because it's more manageable about what you got to do. However, I think that my anxious ass does not, uh, like sometimes when I start making a to-do list with every item that I finish off, with every item that I cross off, I, oh, hang on. What do I even do here? I don't even, this hand is garbage. This hand is garbage town. I guess what we can hope for is a seven of bamboo. I mean, but the sevens are already gone. And Left Lord, what looked like a half flush does not end up being a half flush. Sometimes whenever I cross off an item on my to-do list, my brain adds three more items to the to-do list. Because my brain is like, ah, yes, like, ah, I'm filled with youthful energy. Because I got one thing done. Now I can get like five things done. And as a result, the to-do list never gets shorter. You know what I mean? And that's and that's very stress inducing. So you gotta you gotta you gotta do a to-do list, but you gotta also make sure that your brain doesn't get carried away and turn it into a living nightmare for yours truly. Wanna de-stress chamomile tea in a long hot shower listening to Desert Rose by Sting as you wash. Wanna de-stress? Pour yourself a nice little bath uh, and light up a, a tobacco candle while reading Rupee Car. I mean, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be mean. I shouldn't be mean. I shouldn't be mean. Dang, I'm so the opposite. I do one thing and I start to relax. Honestly, I wish, sometimes it's like that for me where I get one thing done off the list and I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm literally a superhero today. Hey Adam Levine, how's it going? Levin, sorry, I I I, I pronounce. Uh, ever since I learned that Maroon 5's Adam Levine goes into other people's Instagram DMs, and it's like, holy frick, holy frickin' frick, that b body of yours is ridiculous. Why am I referencing this, Mahjong Jen? <laughs> How are you? How are you? Hope you hope, hope you're doing well. Ever since I learned that Adam Levine does that into like random strangers DMs, I have I have not gone a single fucking day not thinking about it. I think about that all the time. What else do I think about? Oh, you said Oh, oh, you sung it. Must be so nice of uh, being so good at mahjong, having such nice hair, being so smart and 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 knowledgeable. You know what else I think about? Hamilton voice. If I can prove that I never touch my balls, like this is just it's just poison in there, man. It's just, it's just poison in there. References about stuff. It's, it's not good. Bob's gaming. Hello, hello. I'm about to get a facial and relax. I mean, that sounds lovely. I like how I've used face masks before. I've used face masks before. And, or like, yeah, they're, they're, they're called face, face masks, right? Some of them, I think I used like a wrong one. I think I might've used something that I wasn't supposed to use because my face felt a little too tingly afterwards. I was like, you know, is this peeling off a layer of, of skin in a good way or a bad way? But then other times I, it has genuinely felt very refreshing when I've done like a face mask and then I take it off, you know? 
My favorite way to relax is to fall asleep. That's that's kind of nice. Okay, Right Lord's gonna win with a sea wind and a half flush. We were kind of in there though. Our hand miraculously got into Tempai. Didn't get to do much with it afterwards. Adam Levine's DMs are your Roman Empire. Yeah, for those who don't know, there's like this trend on TikTok that's like, that's like, in a very heteronormative sense, dudes think about the Roman Empire way more than any rational person should think about the Roman Empire. This hand is okay. I mean, we could we could do the four north winds again and the dude, this would be like a shooting star. Wow. Okay, that would have been very, very cool if we had done we have if we did like two times the uh two times the abortive draw. Anyway, so I had a I had a very, very I had a very, very productive day. I went to uh I went to a I went to a grocery store too. I got some some bars that Beth really likes. And then uh, uh and then um I mean, the, the bars are kind of interesting in and of themselves. They're a brand called, this is not sponsored, but they're a brand called Go Macro Bars. I like them a lot too, because they're like, you know, a lot of the times when you eat a bar and it's like, oh, this can, like, this can replace a meal. You're like, no, this can't. But like the Go Macro Bars are generally very good. Here's a funny joke, by the way. If you're driving right now, might I suggest pulling over? I don't want to leave you in hysterics such that you become a danger on the road. Go Macro Bars. Uh, what, uh, 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 what are the nutrients? Uh, uh, go, go, go macro bars. Hang on, turn the, I have to think for a second. 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 Go macro bars. What are they? Five foot long? Is this stream bad? Is this stream bad? It's not bad, right? Like, I think that if someone tries hard enough, that is like valorous in and of itself. This is a good stream. All right, we're okay. We're okay. Right, Lord's gonna. Right, Lord's gonna. I'm gonna turn on the AC right now. It's gonna get really stinky in here. But now, now with the. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. No. Imagine if I missed that, I would have been the saddest person in the world. Here we go. Here we go. All right, Ricci Pinfu, no Uradora. That's okay. We had we had the best three-sided weight of all time. If this was a YouTube video, that would be the thumbnail right there. A, a nice little responsible triple-sided weight. I pay my taxes on time. Put my pants on one one leg at a time, just like everybody else. Reported for toxic late run. Again, if you're just joining us, I'm gonna like last night I was playing League of Legends. I was being really nice. Someone wanted my character. I swapped characters with them, and then and then afterwards they said thanks, bitch. They just called me. They just called me a name after I did something nice for them. So I'm I'm maybe I'm getting Jokerified as we as we as we live and breathe right now. We live in a society, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, you know, I don't know if this eight of eight of eight of circles is anything. I don't I don't ever really want to get rid of the uh, the red five. You know. You quote, you queued into Jesse Pinkman? I suppose so. Mr. White, we gotta, we gotta play more League of Legends. Dude, I'm losing all self-confidence this stream. I'm losing all self-confidence. So here we go. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell a funny joke to, 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 to get my mojo back. I gotta tell a funny joke to get my mojo back. That's, that's the only way out of here. That's the only way out of here. That's the only way out of here. Here we go. Funny joke time. Funny joke time. Should it be Mahjong related? No, 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 no. Uh, maybe it could just be like about life and, and, and it'll be like a casual, casual humor. And like, you know, we could go to an open mic and say something relatable to the masses and touch the masses. What did the headphone manufacturer? Here we fucking go. I got it. 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 What did the headphone manufacturer say when their colleague was rushing through life? What did the headphone manufacturer say to their colleague who was rushing through life without appreciating anything? You have to stop and smell the Boses. This is it. This is it. 
Lol bet, that's the funniest thing I've ever read. I'm gonna spat out my drink right now. Bob's gaming, holy fuck. Good thing I turned the volume down uh, b before I heard that joke because I'm watching along at work right now and I would have gotten fired by how loud I would have left. Government pants, oh my god, I'm literally vomiting right now. I didn't know that laughter could induce vomiting like this, but turns out you learn something new every day. KJJ BAA. That joke was kind of mid. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Throwing one ha hand in the air eight mile style. I was struggling on the toilet and that joke helped clean me out. Thanks, you sung. You're welcome. I guess I guess I could I, I guess I could update the stream stream description to be like need a probiotic? This stream will the one trick doctors don't want you to know. Dude, this this is this this stream has a weird energy. I got I got too nervous in the middle of it. Fraz, how's it going? Hello, hello. I mean, I, I I genuinely all I did today was chores. I did not I did not do a single bad thing. I gotta figure out what to do for dinner though. I have it. Cute little Richie would be a shame if someone ronned you. It would be a shame if someone Richie and morbed all over you, setting a suji trap that took literally three years to come to fruition, and yet suddenly I see, suddenly I ron. Hold these L's, bozo. This is a, this is kind of an interesting hand. We got terrible. We got a one four seven here. <laughs> would be a shame if someone bond your chon. Bond my chon one more time. My gastroenterologist recommended this stream to cure my constipation. Look, we can joke like we can joke all the live long day. But can I be honest with you? I wish everyone good gastrointestinal health. Like that is not a joke. Like I, I understand that this might be a little weird, but I but I mean this from the bottom of my soul, okay? Half flush. I don't know if this is good or not, but maybe half flush. Um, like if I knew that everyone in this stream, like, was pooping, like, well, I, I know this is a little gross, but I it would make me happy. You know what I mean? It does not mean, and I should be a little careful. I should be a little careful with this. It does not mean that I ever want to hear about it, but just like silently, like, like, you know that, you know that scene in Community where Abed sees that Troy is not in class that day and he kind of smiles to himself because he thinks that Troy has maybe gone on to chase his dreams of becoming a plumber? Like a, a like a, a solemn, tacit smile to oneself? That's, that's what I'm feeling. Gut, good gut health is no joke. Bob's Gaming, I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. So our our half flush was was looking a little dubious earlier on, but now we're now we're looking absolutely okay right now. We're looking absolutely okay. Probably want to see a seven of uh, bamboo most most of all. That'd be the nut draw. Another nut draw would be like another green dragon or something. I wouldn't even scoff at another west wind. Although it's now impossible to get a triplet. Did I ever tell you this story? Because I'm just like, because triplets makes me think of twins. This this is this is like a weird embarrassing story, okay? I, I I I don't think I'm like very good at dating or romantic situations in general. My first ever like slow dance with another human being in uh high school was with a person and she had a twin and to this day I'm not sure who I danced with. That's not to say anything bad about them. I'm lowering my voice because I'm like, I don't want anyone to hear. That's not to say anything bad about them. They didn't parent trap me. They didn't parent trap me, nor did they weekend at Bernie's me. Like there is no one behind them, like holding up their arms or whatever. That's some sitcom shit. Dude, I know I was there. I lived it. It was very weird. It's very surreal to think about now. This is okay. We got into Tempai. It's just an okay Tempai. We don't get to we don't get to pawn the red dragon for red dragon half flush, but I'll I'll absolutely take it right now. So I don't know who I slow dance with. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, when you slow dance with someone, like the Joji song, slow dancing in the dark. Hang on. 
I'm gonna just try to stay in Tempai. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rock the boat right now. If we get a three of bamboo pog champ, if we have to fold here, we have to fold here. I'm gonna be just straight up honest with you. All the sixes are gone. All my apes gone. How many sevens are gone? Dude, they like don't have they they don't have. They're not waiting for this. Let's go! PRKIE, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. When you're slow dancing with someone, you're supposed to put your hands on their waist or their shoulders, right? But then you're like, do you genuinely leave room for Jesus or are you supposed to hold them tight? I know that's like very poetic what I'm saying right now, but like I'm 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 being serious. I'm being serious. I suppose if you are like in love with the person, LOL, but like genuinely, then you then you have an excuse to like hold a person tight while you're slow dancing. Can I get a one in chat if you if you leave room for Jesus while you're slow dancing? Can I get a two in chat if you're supposed to hold the other person tight? I genuinely don't know. I'm not I'm not I'm not good at flirtation or or dating or rizzing as as the people say. Two, you're supposed to hold someone tight? Okay. There was my mistake there. I left room for Jesus. This is an interesting hand where uh the one the one the one push the one tile that we need to get rid of is the seven of circles. Like that's our one redundant tile right now. This is this is a nice pinfu hand that allows us to stay as the dealer, right? Squabby, thanks for the seven months. Thank you, thank you. Had real life hit me hard lately, but thanks for the vods. Nice to catch you live as well. Thank you. I'm really glad you're here. I'm sorry to hear that things have been a little weird, but I'm glad that I'm glad that the vods could help Pog. You know, Jesus can wait his turn. Absolutely, absolutely. Depends on person and age. That's also very true. The the dance trends of today might very well be determined by demographic data. For more on this, here's I don't know why this sounds like a like a news outlet re reporting on something, but for more on this, here's KTV's uh uh, uh Bobby B Benson. Bob, that's right, folks. Kids these days are deciding how to dance with their significant others or their acquaintances using uh, census data provided by the U.S. government. Dude, you would think that like, here's here's my thing about the news, okay? And this is like an extremely mid, non-exciting, lukewarm take. So don't like, you know, don't hold your breath for this one. This, this is not a joke, by the way. This is just something that I think about. You know how, like, when you watch the news, and I've said this before, you know how when you watch the news, like, the the reporter will, like, talk to someone that's, like, near a courthouse or something, right? And they'll be like, can you tell us about what happened today? And then the person by the courthouse takes, like, three years to respond. How is there that much lag? How is, how is there that much lag on, uh, like on display between one person to another. What are they? What are they? Playing on the Nintendo Super Mario Maker servers? You know what I mean? Like, like, a, what, what, could, what could possibly be going on there? The, the ping is way too, the, the ping is way too, you would think that in this hyper advanced technological age that we'd be able to figure that out by now, but apparently not. And then sometimes they awkwardly step on one another. And not in a not in a rule 34 way, just in a just in a regular way. Crossroads gonna assume I have to pay out the dealer penalty. Nothing we could do about that. Social commentary alert. Hey, I'm starting to think that some of these smart devices aren't that smart. Dude, I've I've completely lost it today. I've completely lost it. We gotta we gotta talk about something that we know we can excel in. We got we to gotta talk about something that we, we know that we can, like, get the people riled up it with. Maybe, this is, this is a half flush, but it's maybe, it's maybe a little too aggressive with the, with the kind of, kind of awkward shapes that we have now. We got, we got to, we got to talk about something that touches the heart of the American populace and is something that I can talk about without making it super horny. See any good butts lately? Nope. Not that. First try, though. That's okay. First tries are going to be a little awkward. First tries are going to be a little awkward. Dude, you know what? You know what? Th this is something kind of interesting, okay? <laughs> I'm having a mental breakdown right now. I'm, I'm literally mid-mental breakdown. Here we go. 
Some of us are not American, though. That's a, that's extremely true. That's extremely true. Um, enjoy the healthcare. Uh, d I didn't. I don't really care about spoilers unless it's League of Legends professional games. Okay, because I've been because right now the World Championships are being held in Korea as we speak, and the games are being played at 2 a.m. my time, and so I can't exactly. Your boy can't exactly stay up and watch them. And then, and then, and then the next day I watch them, but then I watch the VODs on YouTube and the game length itself is kind of a spoiler in and of itself. You know what I mean? So I, 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 I don't understand why other people like watch like a pay-per-view boxing match, but I do, but I now I understand them a little bit more considering that I am also sports pilled right now. Uh, this past weekend, Beth has been really, really patient because, because I was watching some of the League of Legends like live videos and and like commentaries and stuff and I, I i've told you this before but i genuinely scream when i'm watching league of legends you know what i mean y'all afraid to moan during sex i'm watching league of legends going oh like genuinely why i don't know it's 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 fun i i think it's i think it's fun i just think that like the moments the, it is genuinely a situation where I, I feel my inhibitions low enough or, or or I'm so invested that I can genuinely make some noise. You know what I mean? What am I, an MC trying to get everyone hyped up before an open mic? Time zones are killing me. I know. The, 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 fact, that, uh, the fact that it's being played in uh, Korean time. Oh! Okay, we're going to deal with them with the white dragon. But luckily, it's only going to be a pinch like we're getting a, like we're getting a measles shot. That's okay. We're moving the game. How you got to keep it strong? Move along, move along like we're in South 3. That's how my partner is with this stream. I am also moaning. That's okay. I honestly think that that's okay. What do you think the loudest sport is? I think the loudest sport is genuinely uh is genuinely tennis. People people genuinely be be screaming when they play tennis. You know what I mean? There must be some kind of a study that's like if you scream while playing tennis, your shots must land a little bit harder, right? Because there's some sports that are like famously quiet. Swimming, you can't scream during swimming. The 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 old, the loudest part of swimming is when, right when they like shoot the gun before you can start swimming and stuff, right? Part of the fun of sports and esports is having a shared interest with a huge amount of other people and sharing an experience. Definitely, definitely. That's why I be that's why I be passing that blunt around, fellow. Fellow kids, weightlifting, volley though. You know what? Both of these are loud sports. Absolutely, both of these are kind of loud. What am I doing with this hand? Am I genuinely going for the hat flush here? Am I go? Am I going for the Yakuman right now? The thought of swimmers screaming is killing me though. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! <laughs> That would that would add a certain joy to it. That would add a certain je ne sais quoi for sure, for sure. I understand that weightlifting sometimes you got to scream because you're pushing your body to its limits. What is it? Me trying to walk up a set of stairs, <laughs> getting really, really tired, feeling the feeling the feeling the burn on my calves as I go up some stairs. Gognito, hello, hello. This is this is so awkward right now. What is this? Me and my adolescent ears? This is an incredibly awkward hand. Sure, we have a triplet of the of the prevalent win, but that's pretty much all that we've got right now. So what are we hoping to see? Like one, two, three, four, five. Those are our five shapes. The the, the three of the three of characters is gonna be our pair. I suppose so. I suppose so. Love Lord is gonna call a Ricci and squash my dreams, right? Right before we can get him uh pogging off right now. I don't know about this three of bamboo. Ooh, dude, what do these other players know that I don't know, man? I, I don't know how you can have just like the absolute gall to discard the the Jason Seagal to discard the three of bamboo and just be okay with it. Dude, Left Lord, Left Lord hitting us with that Barry Bond slash Babe Ruth. I didn't know that they had a, a baseball bat Ricci stick in this game. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your Ricci stick. I know that we could probably fight for this. We're not necessarily out of it yet either. Like if if things go our way, we might be able to do some seven pair shenanigans. Okay, it's gonna hurt. It's absolutely gonna hurt. They had an incredible Ricci. Holy moly! 
No, it was just a, uh, it was just a, uh, it was just a double-sided Richie, right? They could win off of a four or a seven. So now first place is going to be a little bit harder to, harder to usurp, but that's okay. All last. Anything can happen like an Ellie Goulding song. Maybe if we get a, a half flush of some kind, we can still make it if we try. Just the two of us, just the pawn of us. I think that people need to be loud sometimes. You know what I mean? The thing about the housing crisis is that people don't get to be loud as much as they they deserve to be. You know, sometimes you gotta go you gotta go hooting and hollering. There's something very cathartic about screaming. I think that is it's, it's the same kind of catharsis with a with a like going to a karaoke, go, going to do karaoke with your friends. It's nice to it's nice to make noise once in a while. You know, making noise. What are we uh, crafting an EDM dance beat? Hey, what was the DJ's? This is a joke. Here we go. What was the DJ's favorite candy? ED M and M. Wait, that was kind of good though. That one was genuinely kind of fucking incredible though. Like, like one in chat if your mouth is kind of a gape because I think I landed that plane. Call me Captain Sully the way I I landed that plane. Karaoke, or would you call it you song? <laughs> What's a zombie's favorite pop star? Ellie Goulding? Yeah, that's fucking incredible. That's so good. Why is no one... Hey! Why is no one commenting on my awesome... Why is no one commenting on my awesome joke? No one's... No one's screaming right now. Ed Eminem? We deal into Left Lord. This is gonna hurt. This is a stream? This is a good stream. Hey, why was the, uh... Why, why did the, uh... Why did the DJ... Become a real estate agent? Because they always liked house music. Holy fuck, is it just me or is he on fire tonight, folks? Is he on fire? I think he might genuinely be on fire. Bob's Gaming, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Thank you. You didn't have to write that. Slash prediction, pay out the second place semi-believers. Why can I only come in second? Your fingers were dipped in honey, searching for honey inside me because I would not come in first. Rupee car. Give me the 10 pole right now. Give me the 10 pole and free my soul. Because I'm a gentleman. I guess that's true. Sphere of hope. Sphere of D's. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Jade room. Four players south. Here we effing go. Here we absolutely go. Start up the channel points casino. I, 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 I definitely can't stomach the idea of coming in second over and over. Just kidding. I'm actually super happy with that. As we, So long as we have slow and steady improvement, slow and steady wins the race. You know what I mean? Do streamers talk to their therapist like no one typed one doc? And how did that make you feel? Like my jokes weren't actually poggers. <laughs> and you, you, you've said that this, this type of behavior makes you feel flips page cringe. <laughs> your stats say that in your last 100 games, you got second 33% of the time. Oh, so it's statistically the best bet. That's kind of nice to know. If you if you want to game the Channel Points Casino, hey, it, it's more likely gonna land on 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 black than it is gonna land on red. Hey, what did the K-pop group say at the roulette table? Black, red in this area. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I think that I think that it's okay. I think that I'm. I think that with every stream, I get stronger. You know what I mean? I think that with every stream, I I, I get a little bit better at touching souls. <laughs> Ew. Ew. I get a little bit better at crafting humor. There we go. There we go. There we go. Touching souls, I don't want to do. Unless it's feet, am I right? It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Isn't that right, Zach? Northern Lion voice.
touch my soul and free my soul. <laughs> I want to get lost in your feet and souls and nope. That's not it. That's not the no, nope, that's not the line of conversation that I necessarily want to go down right now. Nope, I don't think so. Dude, does somebody does anybody else in here wear like the wide shoes? You know what I mean? I whenever I buy shoes, I'm like a size I'll I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'm like a size 15 and a half. Okay, okay. Size 15. No, I'm a size 9. Sometimes nine and a half, sometimes like eight and a half. I hover around there, but I I do like the shoes where it's like this is a wide shoe. I guess I I, I guess I kind of just have a wide foot. Can I get a one in chat if you're if you agree with this or if you if you also not struggle with the same way because it's not even a struggle. I why why are they making shoes so narrow? You know, unrealistic feet beauty standards. Not everyone's got two little uh, toothpicks down there. Some of us have got, you know, big old two by fours. That's why Crocs are so great. You know, I can I can see that. I can see that. I've never owned a Croc before, just because I'm like, I don't like the holes in the Crocs. You know what I mean? The Crocs with the holes in them, which is every single Croc. I, I don't like that because then what if it rains then you're gonna get a then you're gonna get a watery walking experience And you sung when was the last time you've been caught in the rain without an umbrella wearing crocs? I don't know dude. It's never gonna happen, but for some reason a shoe with holes Is is not necessarily something two three four five six seven is not necessarily something that i'm a huge fan of It dries fast. Yeah, if you're pissing in them Most people own one croc, own two. Ah, oh, I should have kept the five, seven, nine. Uh, it's like it's like a it's like a gateway thing. You can't just you can't just eat one Pringle. You're not gonna just own one Magic the Gathering deck. What are you, a communist? You're gonna own like three to four Magic the Gathering decks because we're all addicted to this cardboard game. By the way, good luck to everyone that's going out wow. to the Magic of the Gathering pre-release this weekend for the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. I, 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 wish you, I wish you luck on your pulls. Spimer, thank you for the six months of Prime. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Do you wear socks with Crocs? This is the thing. I don't wear, I don't wear Crocs at all, but I'm, a, I'm usually a socks guy. Billie Eilish be like, I'm a socks guy. Feet. Da -na, da -na 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 -na. I'm a socks guy. I don't like to be barefoot that often. I don't think that I have smelly feet, but I will sell my used so my worn socks to you if you pay the right price. No, I don't think I have smelly feet, but I'm scared that I have smelly feet. You know what I mean? And as a result, I don't like to be barefoot that often. I suppose that doesn't really help whether or not you're wearing socks, you know? My husband has like 12 EDH decks. Scout Critter, is your husband accepting uh, new friends? <laughs> nah, I'm, we're not We're not just playing Commander right now. Beth and I are still just trying to figure out two player, you know? I escaped the MTG pits. I'm trying to do that right now with, uh, I'm trying to do that right now with League of Legends. Mango Turtle, welcome, welcome. Can we get some Yusung Psychological Persons? This stream has genuinely fallen off the rails today. What do you think is the most underrated like body part? This is something that this is something that gets asked on Reddit all the time, but I'm not trying to do that, okay? This is not we're not going to have the same discussion on Reddit. That's like, "Oh, you like that? It must be nice being stupid." Like we're not going to we're not going to be mean to one another, okay? We're not going to be mean to one another. We're going to be we're going to be nice to one another, okay? What do I think is the... Th this is BM, by the way. You shouldn't do that. Oh, we were going to deal into them had we dealt the seven, so I guess it's okay. Um, what do I think is the most, like, aesthetically pleasing body part that isn't something that, that... That's, like, a little not mainstream, you know? Like, a little hipster kind of a... Hipster kind of body part to appreciate. I think that if someone has nice hands, that's that's honestly kind of nice, you know? I, th I think that nice hands is, is is definitely underrated in the power power rankings. Coccyx? 
That's funny, but isn't that the person that sits in the back of the boat when you're like rowing crew or something? What is that called? Isn't that called the coccyx? There are 30 decks, all with singletons that don't share any of them? Coxswain. That is very funny. That is very funny. That is very funny. It's called Coxswain? That is very funny. You shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say that. I don't know. I don't think you should say that. People, they need to come up with a new name for that. Like, like, like both, both Coxswain and, um, and Shuttlecock, we need to come up with new names for them. Like, like here's, here's my pitch for them. Okay. For the Shuttlecock, which is the thing that you, you hit back and forth, uh, while playing badminton. That's going to be called a fly birdie from that one. It's a fly birdie. That is a family friendly name. It will not cause any awkward moments over Thanksgiving. It's a fly birdie now. Coxswain for someone that sits in the back of the boat is now called a row yeller. Because all you do, all you do as a coxswain, if I understand this correctly, is you go, you're not rowing hard enough. You got to row even harder if you want to win this boat race, you know? That's what I think that they do. Or maybe they go like left, right, left, right, just so that everyone can be on the same pace. Do you know the other name for the birdie in badminton? Is it called the birdie? I, I like birdie. What are we? An indie artist known for somber, somber ballad covers? That's right. That's right. You think I'm old and crusty? I know who birdie is. Hang on. Am I genuinely folding here? Am I genuinely? Am I genuinely folding? Am I genuinely folding? Say it ain't so. I'm, I'm genuinely folding. I'm going inside Suji. I'm morbing. It's morbing time. <laughs> ain't no way. Bro yeller sounds like they're going to get taken out back. Hang on. Am I genuinely pushing? Am I genuinely pushing? No, I don't want to end up in Zuzzy Furriton jail. You can't make me. You can't make me. I want the six of bamboo so bad, but I can't in good faith get rid of this, uh, either of the, the three or the four of, oh, I want this so bad, dude, but I can't do it. I can't do it. Now all the sixes are almost gone, but what am I going to throw? What am I going to throw? The seven, I'm folding with the seven. Oh. 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 But like where where you know what I mean? Like this is okay. We're in second place. We're gonna stay in second place. We're absolutely gonna stay in second place. I'm not freaking selling. Wolf of Wall Street voice. They shouldn't they shouldn't have bad words in the names of things anymore. Okay, so the seven is gonna be safe this entire time. Oh my god, we're gonna get into Tempai. Show me, show me a chance. Show me a chance to get into Tempai. Show me, I don't know, a Oh, now I want to get back into Tempai so bad, dude. But it's... Oh! It passed! Mommy doesn't know daddy's getting hot at the Mahjong shop. It passed. Oh my god. I did not deserve this. I... I did not deserve that. I did not deserve that. I did not deserve that. Because the red five was still missing, by the way. The red five was still missing. But I was just like, let's play the odds. We're still in Tempai. It's okay. So we're in third place right now. It's not looking great for your boy. But we haven't even gotten an opportunity to be the dealer yet. So get ready for some fast-paced action right now. And by that, I mean five, six, seven. Seven out of 13 orphans. Am I really going to go for it? All right, let's 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 see if we can't make this half flush work out because I don't I don't see how this hand gets me excited any other way, right? Okay, this is kind of interesting. Okay, maybe we maybe we keep our keep our options open. I gotta turn off the AC right now. It's got to get it's about to get really smelly. By the way. No one's asking for this, but it is now pitch black outside. It is super duper dark. It's super Mario Maker dark. How do we feel about animals who are named like foods? Do we like that? I like it. 
I like it. When a cat is named something like Pudding, I'm like, that's delightful. I would rather a cat be named Pudding than a cat be named like Steven. Steven is a human name. You know what I mean? That's just like a little too intense for me. Like you, you, you're you're doing something here that I'm not that I'm not a that I'm not a fan of. What is your cat gonna sit at the dinner table and eat with you? That's weird. I have a coworker whose dog is named Spaghetti. Yeah, that owns. That owns incredibly hard. I I really effed myself here. I guess I should have played this normal mode. Going for this uh, half flush is is pretty ill advised. Some cats do that. Is that true? I mean, I saw this I saw this video online that was like. Uh, the the whole premise of the video was like this is like th this is they would do like an elaborate dominoes thing where like a lot of dominoes would be pushed over and go ba 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 just exactly like that and then eventually the domino was would stop in front of like a little ball but then it wouldn't push the ball but there would be a cat right there and the cat would push the ball this video is called like cats and dominoes or something and no it wasn't a beatboxing video that video was called boots and cats he's back folks he's back this is a really this is a really fucking good stream yep you're welcome by the way greatest streamer on the planet um we're gonna against our better judgment go for this we can still fold by the way they're going for character tiles we can still fold we can still fold half outside yet was was a was a distant but real possibility but I was like, hopefully those cats are treated well. Because those cats were very, very well trained. And I don't, I don't, I hope the, I hope those those cats like got a lot of treats for knocking those balls over. You know what I mean? It's a little bit risky throwing the eight, but I think it's okay. Many of us are here by choice. Some of you are here because you have a, because let's be honest, you have a big moral debt to pay in society. And, and, and the court system has punished you into watching a lot of my stream. Three, 30 hours of community service and 400 hours of watching you sung on Twitch. No, your honor. No, please. I guess you shouldn't have littered. Some of you are legally required to be here. Some of you have an ankle monitor that's also tapped into your Wi-Fi. That's monitoring how much, uh, how much you watch the stream. I am atoning for my crimes. We're all here for different reasons, but what's important is that we can all we can all get along. By the way, say goodbye to our dealer seat. My PO checks my monthly Twitch stats. Good. As they should. As they should. I'm here of my own free will like a dang ass freak. Grab a pog champ and a, a emote. That's a that's a dang ass freak. It's okay. It's okay. Not every joke has to be a winner. Don't let them smell. Don't let them smell your insecurity. Don't let them smell your insecurity. Everyone's going to hop on your insecurity and say that you're cringe, but you're not cringe. You sunk. You're pog. <laughs> modern day, modern day motivational speech in the mirror be like, you can do it. You're handsome and you're pog. They're going to say you're cringe, but you're actually really, really pog champ. Okay. So get out there, get out there and do your best. I'm breaking the conditions of my parole by watching this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> F the police. That's how I treat him. Me driving five miles below the speed limit everywhere I go. Could be a reachy pinfu hand. If we're lucky, this could be a reachy pinfu hand. I, might, I, I, I should maybe get rid of this, but if we draw into a four, we'd much rather get rid of something like this, right? Okay, someone's, someone's hesitating about something. But now we got a pretty decent situation, right? Uh, hopefully the nut draw right now for us is a is a three of bamboo. What's the door? It's the one of bamboo. Okay, it's a, it's a little interesting. We, we, we would have a hard time making the... Uh, we would have a hard time making the three of bamboo work in our hand. But you know what they say. Hard times make for hard people. And oh baby, I'm rock solid. All right, I'm gonna throw this away. This is maybe against my better judgment. The threes are pair. Why am I doing this? Oh no! Regret. Hashtag regret. I should have thrown this. I should have thrown this. Well, we were just. We weren't even keeping that two as a two three three. We were just keeping that two as a safe foul, man. Dude, can I tell you something that changed my life? So recently at night, I've been getting really cold under my sheets right i can make your sheets wet listening to keep sweat but i'm not sweating at all i'm actually very very cold 
um, in my sheets. I'm actually very, very cold. Um, and you know what I did? Because I was just trying to figure out like how to adjust the thermostat so that I would not be cold at night. You know what I did? I got out another blanket. I got out another blanket and now I sleep with another blanket and I'm no longer that cold. Dude, I think that they should hire me as like a software engineer because this is just like a demonstration of really good problem solving skills. You know what I mean? Like, I think I'm a fucking genius. I'm just going to I'm just going to be real with you. Um, OK, this hand is now goaded. Everyone needs to butter up buttercup because this hand this hand is absolutely effing cracked out of its mind. That sounds revolutionary. I'm about to disrupt the entire blanket industry with my new hack, with my Animal Crossing new hack. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we don't we don't need any more shapes. These these shapes are just kind of mid, but that's okay. That's okay. Heated blanket, but that's the thing. I'm too. That's the thing, Sally. I'm too scared to use a heated blanket because if if I understand what it is correctly, and there's a good chance that I don't. For I have not demonstrated a good understanding of anything, just like general knowledge wise, uh, on on stream or ever. Huh? Uh, olives are just pickled grapes, by the way. Uh, an opinion that I very much so genuinely had. Um, okay. I'm, Lord, tell me how to say no to this. I don't know how to say no to this. Um, but a heated blanket, you have to leave plugged in, right? And I'm scared because I yank, okay? I yank at night. I'm cranking it at night. You know what I mean? At night, I'm pulling the blankets every which way. I'm rolling up like I'm creating my own little safe haven. My little safe burrito sanctuary, which is what I call my bed. Um, and I'm scared that I'm going to yank it out of the power socket. Anyone else scared of that? Andreothia, hello, hello. Looking fly in the maroon today. Thank you, thank you. Get a wool blanket. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if I have a wool blanket. Do they have those at Target? Because I'm rocking the, the comforter from Target. And I have, a, I have a sheet, but it's definitely not made out of wool. You know, it's definitely made out of like a, like a more like a plasticky, like a synthetic kind of a feel. I think a heated blanket would mal malfunction and roast me to death in the night. Ellie, I'm also thinking the same thing. It's like Final Destination. I don't, I don't want to know how this, uh... folks, it's been an honor playing with you tonight. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, what is the new Dora? The new Dora is the West Wind. That's okay. No one's using the West Wind right now. That's okay. That one I actually had to. That one I actually had to. Dude, this game isn't even giving me a six of bamboo. Six of bamboo would be nice so that we could upgrade this into a double-sided weight. That'd be really nice. That's why you get the weighted blankets so that while they're roasting you to death, you can't even move. I mean, don't threaten me with a good time. Don't threaten me with a good time. I like to get a heating pad and put it in bed before I get in, then turn it off when I'm ready to sleep. Hey, I like a heated pad too. It's called uh, my iPad when I'm when I'm opening up uh, Google Chrome. What do you think about that, huh? Huh? What do you think about that? Daint, Dainty C. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. I agree. These jokes are good. They're, they're meritous. They, 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 they deserve a follow. Why? Hey, why did the uh, bed? This is a joke, by the way. So get ready. Get ready. You might not be able to handle this. Okay. Why did the bed have? Um, why did the bed have? Such a bad memory. Here we go. Here we go. Why did the bed have such a bad memory? Their mind was always blank it. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, we're in there. Absolutely, we're in there. Minus two unfollowed. Speedrun RTA. Follow to unfollow any percent. Live on Twitch. I'm going to discard the nine because I think it's a little bit safer right now. I think we got to off balance offense and defense like we're Northern Lion playing chess right now. Thank you, see, That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Bob's gaming. Holy moly. I'm literally pooping my pants right now because of how funny that was. A risky discard. 
And yet we have to. And yet we have to. Cardinal Fool. Oh my god, I'm vomiting right now. I'm vomiting. I literally can't hold it back because of how funny it is. Mango Turtle. I'm laughing so hard. Oh! And do I shame fold right now? You might not like it, but we, I think that was, yeah, I, we could have discarded the eight, but I wasn't ready to discard the seven. Seven was feeling extremely zuztastic to me. Sometimes you call a con with four Dora and you still got to fold. If we had stayed on the seven, if we were far from the shallows, if we stayed on the seven, we might've been able to taste greatness there. We might've been able to taste the rare air. Unfortunately, we did not get to taste the rare air. That's okay. That's okay. And I'll mention plus two followed back again. So wh what do we think about that blanket joke? I thought it was pretty good. Hey, why was the... Uh... Hey, how did the... What, 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 what did the bed feel? This is another joke. This is another joke. Damn, you sung. Your refractory period is so low. Thank you. Um, this is another joke. Why did the bed... What? How did the bed feel after checking Instagram? Well... They certainly had a little bit of memory FOMO. What do we think about that? <laughs> what do we think about that? Is that good? Is that not the greatest thing that you've ever heard? I think it might be the greatest thing you've ever heard. It didn't give, give a sheet. Somehow even better, Cardinal Fool. Somehow even better. Okay, that's that's good. Ellie, I didn't have to, it, it was, oh, it was such an easy joke. Great, I can see, Cryboard Great, typing in chat. Oh, I can see why other people would be interested in that joke. <laughs> like, like we're discussing cardigans uh, at, from the gap right now. Oh, I can see other people might be enjoying this piece of clothing. I mean, I, now I'm going to win you back. Now I'm going to win you back with something that everyone can just agree with. Do I chi here? I think I chi here. I think I chi here because it costs me nothing. And if we pawn the south wind and we can get rid of this, I mean, I don't know how we, I don't know how we really get out of here. I'm gonna be honest with you. We can pawn to get into Tempai here. I don't think that we do it. I, I think that the chi here is not even that bad. A crossword is also gonna call the Richi. Yeah, we're absolutely gonna huge, huge fold mode here. Me and me and Right Lord doing the twinsies right now with the with the folding of the north winds. The ceremonial folding of the North Winds. I'm about to win you back with an awesome take. Here's my awesome take. Uh, I like the colder seasons because fashion-wise, you can wear layers. Here we go. So true, you sung. So true. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that this look is like no longer in fashion, but I kind of like the preppy look. Um, where it's like you, oh, fuck. Oh, that's not what it, that's not what it is. It's not though. it's not where you fuck, okay? Uh, I kind of like that preppy look if we're talking layers where you wear a collared shirt like this, but then a sweater over it. Because then you're like, I'm neat in the streets, but a freak in the sheets. Am I right? I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm neat in the model UN streets, but a freak in the... Model UN uh, delegate dance after the conventions over sheets, you know? This is the greatest hand I've ever seen in my entire fucking life, by the way. Richie Pinfu, all symbols, red five. Deadly snow cone, hello, hello. I love jacket, I love hats. I love jackets. I don't know why I, I diminished your, your typing. $100 donation incoming. <laughs> I like the no clothes look, deadly snow cone. Are you perhaps implying that these clothes look good, but they might look better on your bedroom floor? <gasps> well, here's what I say to that. Allow me to change it to something a little more comfortable. Look at us having fun. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, here we go. I got to get better at streaming. This is this is honestly my big takeaway from today. I got to get better at streaming, man. Because I, I, you know, you think, you, you know, you take a few comedy classes, you take improv 101, you think you're the bee's knees. But, you know, no one has achieved perfection. 
I think I'm close with my with my humor, with my jokes. I think I'm close. But I don't, I don't think I'm there yet. Deadly Stoke going, thanks for the Prime. Thank you for the Prime. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Do we even reach she? I don't know. Because I want to overtake uh, Right Lord for second place, but I think overtaking Left Lord is a little too unlikely. Although, Richie, Pinfu, Red 5, Tanya, pure double sequence would be a nice little uh, boon here for us. What are we? Speed running Hades right now? Right Lord, unfortunately, cooking up with the, with the, with the prevalent wins. He's close, but leaving room for Jesus. I'm gonna chi here. I'm gonna I'm gonna chi right now. Right Lord is cooking, and I don't want to give them the chance to actually plate up. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna move to squash their uh, blossoming hand right in the tr right in its tracks. Oops. Hades mentioned plus twelve. This is my Hades impression. Sorry, Zagreus. I'm just I've just got such a sexy voice. That's my Hades impression. I think that the voice actor for Hades does a really good job. They, they, they just have like a really attractive sounding voice, you know? But people have said the same thing about me when I do Family Guy impressions. Pina! Oops. We're gonna run here. I'm gonna I'm gonna run right now. It's not a small hand, but but now we only need like a 1,000 point hand in order to uh, overtake uh, overtake Right Lord for, for second place. We literally, any winning hand will do right now. Tic Tac Tiger, I can't read that, even though I think it's extremely funny. Oh, this is the worst hand I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, that's that's perfect. Your best impression was Australian Jack Skellington? Well, that's the thing, Sally! <laughs> that's just loud Jack Skellington. That's just loud Jack Skellington. I can't do Australian Jack Skellington. Well, that's the thing, Sally! Coffees can be flat whites! It's it's close. It's close. We're still cooking. We're still cooking that one. One day, one day we'll pull it out of the oven and it's gonna make people shit themselves. Until then, we have to practice still. How about a Yudong impersonation? Yudong be you sung be like, I love corporations. Give me those boots. I'll suck on them. Uh <laughs> maybe a little too aggressive right now. Uh Yudong be like, uh, does anybody else think that income inequality is a problem? That's the difference between Yu Sung and Yu Dong right there. It's kind of huge if you think about it. It's kind of huge if you think about it. Like, not a lot of people are going to notice the difference between the two, but for those of you who do, um, it's kind of it's kind of striking, you know? <laughs> Nagashi Mangan. We could go Nagashi Mangan. I'm also looking at this hand, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking well, I'm back. I'm thinking that we could go for Richie Pinfu. We're also in the dealer seat, so we could theoretically mount a comeback, right? If we if we just keep winning, especially with direct hits on Left Lord. So Left Lord is gonna call the Richie right now. If I play safe, I'm about to get owned. If I play safe, I get owned here, unless Right Lord deals in. So I think I gotta play a little bit aggressive right now. Is, is playing aggressive going for all simples? I think playing aggressive means means going for all simples at a time like this. So we're in third place. We're gonna lose anyway. We're gonna be in third place anyway if we don't win this hand. So we gotta we gotta do our best right now. We gotta gambate, you know? Does Yu Dong hate corporations or what? Yu Sung loves corporations. Yu Sung loves corporations, can't get enough of them. Hashtag sponsored. Yu Dong hates corporations and votes, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Jso man, hello, hello. I'm gonna need Right Lord to deal in. I'm absolutely gonna need Right Lord to deal in. I don't think they are. The good news for us is that the three of bamboo is safe, so I mean, hopefully, if one more comes out, we can accept it in our hand. Right Lord is gonna push for this. Okay. I mean, if Right Lord's gonna morb for this, if Right Lord's gonna push for this, there's a decent chance that they deal in right now. They didn't have to pawn there. They had two blissfully unaware safe tiles that they could have they could have gone down, kind of down with, you know? Okay, we lose. I will go down on this ship. I will suck it. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's that's not that's not what I'm doing tonight. That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. Hang on. We got we got ten minutes left, right? We got ten minutes left in the stream. 
Ah, <sighs> why don't we just play one last game, okay? Why don't we just play one last game, even though the stream's gonna go omega long, okay? I can't guarantee any good jokes. Today, today's stream, honestly, was brought to you by Yusung's Mental Breakdown. I got way too nervous in the middle of it. I got way too nervous in the middle of it. And, uh, I got way too nervous in the middle of it. And, and I, I kind of lost myself. Start up the Channel Points Casino again. I can't guarantee any good jokes. That this is, I mean, this, this genuinely, forgive, dude, reminisce? What the hell? I'm playing with, I'm playing Mahjong with damn poets right now. I can't guarantee any more good jokes. I genuinely can't guarantee any more good jokes. I can guarantee medium jokes. I can guarantee subpar jokes. But, but good jokes, we ran out, you know? It's like our 86 good jokes from the menu. We're, we're fresh out of those ingredients right now. Sipping on my bubble tea. Hey, why was the, uh, here we go. I mean, I don't know if this joke is going to be good. I'm going to try to say a joke, but I don't know if it's going to be good. So be careful. Your, your safety is not guaranteed here. Why was the real estate, why was the real estate always at a cafe? Because the housing market was in a bubble tea. What do we think about this? What do we think about this? I guess I'm gonna chi here. I don't know if this is necessarily correct. <laughs> I really want to win this hand though. We got we got two Dora. You were guaranteeing my safety before? Yeah, before I had a fiduciary responsibility to the shareholders to make sure that the stream was good. From the hours of 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., that content vetted. It's all scripted. I work really hard on the stream. It's all scripted, but now that we're going a little overtime, now that we're going overtime, I cannot guarantee that any of these any of these jokes are anything, you know? Plus 10, I'll absolutely take it. Laughing so hard that I broke the seatbelt and I flew out the window of my car. Stinky! Is that a is that a I think you should leave reference? All I know is that I like screaming. 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 milkshakes. Do what? I can't pawn this. I want Lord tell me how to say pawn to this. I don't know how to say pawn to this. I really want to pawn that. But this is unfortunately the pair. In order for our hand to be valid, by the way, all hands are valid. In order for this hand to be valid, we we need to we need a triplet of the red dragon, which we drew into, by the way. This is such a spicy meatball right now. This is such a spicy meatball because I really don't want to fold. Oh. There's a really cute bunny in this one, though. Dude, this is... Dude, look at how cute that is! Also, ass? I mean, it's it's weird if we say it, and it's weird if we don't say it, right? I'm not making any comments about it. I am merely acknowledging its existence. Exist... Ass! See? The, the jokes after 6 p.m. are not very good. I don't want to give you any uh, slurping ASMR. This is not a seven pairs hand, right? But it could be it could be a half flush hand if we close our eyes and believe that planet Earth turns slowly. I mean, I'm not gonna chi though. What am I a fool? What am I an absolute buffoon? Am I gonna I'm gonna chi this hand? Absolutely not. Thirteen orphans clueless. My brother in Christ. I have six orphans in my starting hand. I think going for thirteen orphans is a is a little too optimistic for me. My Ito went also has a haiku. Snow scene, the silk kimono, threadbare. Gary Gray. Gary Gay. That is not a real haiku, right? Snow scene? That is not, that is not, that is not five syllables. Not at all. Oh my god. A crosslord pawns the door. Okay. Folks, we are in a terrible situation. I don't think that we negotiate right now i don't think that i don't think that we're in a very powerful negotiating position i think what we just do is is try to try to play it safe and not deal into a crosswords mongon owl city references holy moly you think you think that one is a blast from the past i could really use a pawn right now do you think dancing is fun <laughs> 
One in chat if you think dancing is fun. I've I've always been like too scared to cut a rug on the dance floor. I mean, you've seen my dance moves on stream though. Like I've got I've got moves, you know what I mean? I've got I've got dude, why don't I dance? You know what I mean? Raymond Carver be like, why don't you dance? I don't know. Why don't I dance? I've got a lot of things going for me. I've got great moves. Got a sweet ass. Got a dazzling personality. Why don't I dance more? Zero, I dance like a white guy. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Oh my god. Brightler with an absolutely delightfully devilish Suji trap. <sighs> Bunny. Bunny ordering a little alcoholic beverage. Give me a, give me a mojito. That's, that's what the bunny sounds like. Is it trauma? It might be trauma. It might be trauma related. Absolutely. A lot of things are. Sometimes when a, so this is, this is, I, I mean, you want to know how to brighten up your life. Here's how to brighten up your life. Okay. Sometimes it, it's really funny dancing in grocery stores. People, 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 people nowadays enjoy activities like crying at H Mart. How about dancing in a grocery store? Sometimes when H Mart plays like hype songs, I've, I've talked about this before, but sometimes H Mart will be like, genuinely have the weirdest OST of all time. Like, I, g genuinely, genuinely. They had like an EDM remix of the ballad. I will go down with this ship. And then the beat was like, dum, 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 dum. Like the, the, the beat was going really, really hard. And so what you do, is if you're with someone, you can't do this if you're alone, but if you're with someone and you want to make them laugh, at a grocery store when the music is hype as hell, you just like put your fist up in the air and you just go. That's like fucking delightful. You know what I mean? Because you're not supposed to dance. You're not supposed to dance in the uh, store. You're not, so, you're not supposed to dance in the store. I'm gonna wait one turn just to see if we can't improve our hand a little bit. Oh, I should have definitely kept the three. I should have definitely kept the three and thrown the eight if we were gonna call this Richie. Holy fuck, we actually did it. I mean, all according to plan. Ah, yes, he's a good Mahjong gamer. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I bet Beth is your ultimate wingman because if I someone la laughing along with that, then I would laugh too. Nah, Beth is Beth is really really supportive of my bullshit. Like when I'm when I'm dancing in grocery stores, she thinks it's really funny, and she she doesn't like. I don't know. She's just really supportive of that. You know, I haven't cried at H Mart, but I've cried on the NYC subway. Where is the place that I've cried in public? The last time I cried in public, genuinely, I think this is it. So I, this is a, this is a complicated, nuanced moment. Okay. This is a complicated, nuanced moment. The last time I cried in public was a matinee of crazy rich Asians. When the acoustic cover of yellow was playing. Now, how do I feel about crazy rich Asians? Do I like their representation? Yes. Do I think that the glorification of capitalism is genuinely a fucking disease? Yes, absolutely. To both of those things. Okay. I did cry at the playing of yellow in the uh the cold plays yellow in crazy rich asians made you think of the front of your shorts butt sandals that is a lovely bit of humor to diffuse the situation oh we can also win on the door how cute i can't slurp the it's all grass jelly at this point there's no more tea out is that the wedding scene it's actually the sex scene <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the wedding scene. <laughs> no one's making passionate love to Coldplay's Yellow. Look, you don't understand. You don't understand. When you turn, when you hit start streaming on, on OBS, when you hit the start streaming button, you're filled with a sense of duty, okay? You're, you're filled with a sense of duty to be funny, and it, 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 it like infects your brain. It genuinely rots your brain. No, I just, I, I, I should, I feel like I should control it better. What is this? Sasuke's curse mark powers from Orochimaru? I mean, the East Wind is a very powerful pickup if I get it. Honestly, I cry in movies all the time these days. I feel like as I've gotten older, I've definitely gotten more emotional. You know what I mean? I, it, it's weird because now, 
in my older age, I'm more likely to be seen at like Hot Topic, you know? Buying black clothing and, you know, wearing my heart on my sleeve. I cried during Anatomy of a Fall last night. That's interesting. I don't know what that is, but I can, I can, I can, I can see myself crying as I often do. I don't think movies count as crying in public. I guess that's true. I guess that's true because everyone's in the dark. But I will say my fucking fragile masculinity, when I was crying in Crazy Rich Asians, I was like, don't move your hand. Because if you move your hand to wipe your tears, people will be able to see that. And I didn't want anyone else to see that I was crying because I was too self-conscious. And it's, but in retrospect, it's so stupid to live that way. Dude, I don't care if you're crying during the Minions movie. I've actually never really cared about someone crying during another thing at all. Well, that's the thing, Sally. People aren't really judgmental at all. I think that all the time. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I'm just so embarrassed of myself. <laughs> Not really. Not really, but like kind of a little. I'm crying right now. Deadly snow cone. Fear not. I've got an awesome joke to defuse the situation. Here we go. 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 What do I discard here? Nine of nine of circles, probably. It's a terminal tile. All right. Here we go. Joke to defuse the situation. Joke. Here we go. What was? What's the most popular? What's the most popular breakfast item at the White House? Jote meal. Jote meal, folks. Jote meal. Like Joe for Joe Biden and oatmeal. Like oatmeal. What do we think about this? What do we think about this? The tears won't stop. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just fold with all the nines. It's impossible to play safe right now. I laughed. I did. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sleepy Joe's, a breakfast version of Sloppy Joe's. It's so Jover easy eggs. <laughs> Am I high right now? I don't even know what's going on. We've seen this image too much, man. We've seen this image too much. P quite frankly, you know. I like to be the sexiest thing that's on camera. So this is, I don't, I don't like competing right now. You know what I mean? Why do I have to, why do we have to compete like this? Are you? I think I am. Oh, am I high right now? No, I do. I'm not high right now. I don't think I could do a good stream if I was high. I think it'd be really, really quiet. But at this point, at this point, people are like, you sung with your jokes. We'd prefer that you be quiet, but I, you will never be able to silence me. You will never be able to silence me. I can't suck up this grass jelly. It's impossible to get out, even though I want to eat all the grass jelly. Okay, this is interesting. Our hand is like slowly coming together, but at the same time, it's not very good at all. <laughs> we really want to make use of this six of circles, right? But uh, don't have any tiles next to it. We also need a pair after we pawn the uh, the white dragons, the blue eyes white dragons. I mean, we could whittle it down such that the uh, the three of bamboo is our pair, but that's a lot of that's a lot of egg breaking to make an omelet you know sucking caffeine down with vengeance i don't think that i don't think that it would be enjoyable to we gotta we gotta talk about something normal no no one is allowed to use the word sucking anymore okay no one is allowed to use that why because it traps my brain it traps my brain it, oh, you sung. I can I can see the word sucking and not think of anything. Yeah, okay, that's good for you. That's good for you. Uh, clearly, you weren't raised by the internet. Slurping? Slurping is good. Slurping is good. Lavender, hello, hello. Butts channels. That is that is going in the wrong direction. That is that is absolutely going in the other direction. That is going in the opposite direction. What do you think? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We actually have to focus here. Oops. Two of two of characters or two of circles or four of circles. I guess I'll take this. Now I'm really wishing that we had the uh, six of circles back in our greasy little palms right now. 
I can't do that. I can't do that. Because I need a pair in this hand eventually. And I, right now, it's looking like the three of bamboo is going to be that. My partner said slurping always good and us making slurping sounds. Dude, did you know this? This is true, by the way, okay? In China, I think, I think, if I if I, if I I understand this correctly, cross her with the Ricci, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Fold. Go, 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 go. Um... Uh, I don't even know if the nines that safe they could they could have a seven eight in their hand very very easily in China It's not rude to slurp your noodles like it's also not rude And this is this is kind of wild if you think about it. It's also not rude to um Burp which I I could have this wrong I, I genuinely could have this wrong, but I don't think it's rude to burp because burping means like oh Wow, I've had a really good meal. You know what? I mean, it's like a sign that you've had a really good meal so just, that's like a that's like a genuinely different um that's like a genuinely like a, a cultural difference i remember going to a friend's house and eating spaghetti with them uh when i was younger and i mean i still eat spaghetti now and it's not it's you know the spaghetti isn't age locked uh for me um but i remember them asking their dad like why can you why is you sung allowed to slurp and i'm not allowed to slurp and th their dad was rightfully like, because they, they, they probably grew up in a different culture. You know? So that's just kind of interesting. You know what? I'm going to say this here. In, in this stream, slurping is fine. You can, you can slurp if you want to. You can leave your nudes behind. Because if you don't slurp, then, then you're not going to burp. And then you're no friends of mine. This is the thing about spaghetti. It's fun for the whole family. Spaghetti is my favorite food, I think. I genuinely think spaghetti and meatballs with marinara sauce is like probably my favorite food. Spaghetti is my favorite food. I like the way the noodles liven up my mood. This is the thing. This is the thing. I, I, I told you this. I told you this, okay? We all tacitly agreed when I started streaming past 6 p.m. I cannot guarantee that the content is good, okay? I cannot guarantee that the content is good. That was a play. That was a spaghetti-based play on the idea of basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. Sp spaghetti is my favorite food. I like the way the noodles liven up my mood. I mean, I'm writing free ad copy. I'm writing free ad copy. Big Spaghetti is going to get a freebie on the house right now. A crossword struggling with some McDonald's Wi-Fi. I like to guzzle things. I mean, a big drink is fun, but I think that like, I, dude, I, I, I think it's a vice that I, that I enjoy. You know what I mean? Smoking a doob, snooze, but like a big, but like a big drink, a big drink gets me going. You know what I mean? A big drink gets me going. Absolutely. I should be throwing this one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I should be throwing this hundred percent. Like, you're not, you're not ever supposed to drink a soda that's large. You know what I mean? Like, if you go to a movie theater, like, a large soda is enough for a village of people. Like, you're not supposed to drink a large soda. You're supposed to get, like, a small soda and be like, ooh, that's nice. But I love a gluttonous and excessively large soda. Or, like, an icy or a smoothie of some kind. You know what I mean? I think, I, dude, you know what I think my, my, my last meal would be? Spaghetti and meatballs and like a big soda or like a big icy drink of some kind. That would be a nice last meal. I think at least. Four pairs in our hand, no album out, but there's no way we go for seven pairs here, right? I don't think that that's correct. I don't think that that's correct. You do have big drink energy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm overcompensating. I'm overcompensating. A big frosty bev. Absolutely. Do you think like, I mean, it's, it's inhumane. But, like, um, do you think, like, last meals, if you ordered, like, a really expensive last meal that they'd give it to you? Or, like, if, if for your last meal, you were like, can I get a steak, please, and mashed potatoes, that they would just give you kind of, like, a mid-steak. I mean, this is a really morbid topic, and I'm not trying to make light of it or anything, but this is genuinely something that I have thought about before. This is genuinely something that I, like, mull over in my mind when I'm just, like, idling, you know? They can deny those? That's fucked up, man. That's so fucked up. I think that... I mean, I don't know. I think that we should honor last meals to, like, the best of our ability. Genuinely. 
They give you what they ask and even a special way to prepare. And yes, they can deny. There's a list of last meals on Wikipedia that includes whether the requests were granted. Holy fuck. Illusionary Knight, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Dude, that, I'm not ready to read that. You know what I mean? Like, spooky, scary. Oh, oh, you sung. Like, here's some scary, creepy pasta. You know what the real creepy pasta is? That list of last meals on the internet and whether or not they were denied or not. Beth and I were talking because her, her roommate went to go see Five Nights at Freddy's at like 10 p.m. And I and I and I was just saying to Beth like I don't like scary movies. Look outside the day. Have you read the news lately? That's the scary movie. Like you don't you don't need to see the scary movie. Fucking real life is horrifying. You know what I mean? So I'm not a, I'm not a scary movie person. I'm, I'm like a pog movie kind of person. Some guy got his request denied because he wanted to eat dirt. That's kind of that's kind of based uh like protest art. That's like that's like the person. I don't know if this is just like an urban legend or if this is real. But you ever hear about that urban legend where someone mailed their own poop to Harvard and Harvard was like, yeah, you're accepted. Now that I say it out loud, I'm like, that's gotta be an urban legend, right? There's no way that happened. That there's no way that happened, right? Millennials want their last meal to be ass. I mean, that's true. That's absolutely true. But the Five Nights at Freddy's movie wasn't scary. It was silly and goofy. Silly and goofy. What the heck? Five Nights at Freddy's the game. I will say it's an okay game, but it relies on loud sounds and jump scares. And I don't, I, I think that that's cheap. You know what I mean? I think that if I were to be scared, uh, I would want to be like filled with a sense of unease rather than like a, like a spoopy, scary jump scare. You know, that's, that's definitely the truth. Do I just chi here to try to get into Tempai before the end of the game? I don't know. I think the next one we can't afford to pass up. I think that the next four or seven, we, we genuinely can't afford to, to pass up. Five Nights at Freddy's movie was definitely more silly. What the heck? Five Nights at Freddy's? More like Five Nights at a TGI Friday's. If it's that silly. Oh no, this game is going very long. And it's only gonna get... It's only gonna get worse from here, folks. It's only gonna get worse from here. We are going into uncharted territory. Super Ano Nimio. I can't read right now. I've been streaming for too long. Sorry for the mispronunciation. Welcome, welcome. The Five Nights at Freddy movie was catered towards both the new audience and the old. Animal Crossing new old leaf. <laughs> so it wasn't super scary. The little kid in the movie picked spaghetti for dinner and the small child in front of me was hype over that decision. Okay, Five Nights at Freddy's kind of based then. Absolutely kind of based. So this is a weird situation. This is a story all about how I called a quick pawn, went Tanya down. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the all simples here. This is a this is not a bad shape. We can still accept the six of circles here. We can still accept the four of circles here. Uh, three of three of characters would also be the nut draw. Three of circles would definitely be the nut draw. They have like deep lore shit in there. It's like it's like Christianity, right? Five Nights at Freddy's is like loosely based on. Christianity because that bear was celibate <laughs> No, because <laughs> that bear although it had a baby did not have sex yep it's real folks it's absolutely real I mean that's I mean it's I mean a lot of a lot of properties do that right a lot of IP does that they like invoke the Bible for a sense of the for a sense of the spooky scaries that's fair. There's a lot of there's a lot of scary stuff in the Bible. For example, no sex before marriage. Uh, yeah. Uh, check please. That's scary. How are we all supposed to? How are we all supposed to? You know, have coitus before marriage. <laughs> this is okay. If anyone else, if anyone else ever asks me why I only stream for two hours, 
can we can we get like this this stream as like a as like a a link that's just like on hand and ready can we can we can we just get like a can we get like a link to this stream that's just like clipped and at the ready because because i i i th that's the answer right there i think you're pogging all right here we go that's gonna give me the strength to do another joke here we go another joke Why did the horror movie goer get fries? Because they went to Five Nights at Wendy's. I deserve this. I deserve this, by the way. I deserve this. The subathon is going to go great. My, my brain would literally start atrophying. Holy moly. A crosser just got three concealed triplets. Oh my god. At least I'm not sitting in the bozo chair. But now it's like, I'm fighting for last place right now. Come on, man. That's literally nothing. I don't know if it's literally nothing. I don't know if it's literally nothing. Figuratively, your honor, it could be nothing. Your honor, it could be nothing. Why? What was the lions? Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. Get ready. This is a good joke. I feel it in my bones. Okay. What was the lion's favorite snack? Why? What was the lion's favorite potato chip? Cirque du Soleil. We were worried for a second. We were worried that he was never going to say another good joke again. Here we fucking go. Here we go. This is why we do it. Why do we go to the moon? To show that we can. For, because, the, because the sense of accomplishment is enough. In and of itself. Triptych, hello, hello. There's no animals in Cirque du Soleil? Well, there's gonna be now. They're gonna put animals in there. Because of how good this joke is. It's gonna change the freaking world. Northern Lion Voice change the world. Anyone else watch the uh, end of Attack on Titan? No spoilers, no spoilers. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm really excited to. I like Attack on Titan. It's intense. I mean, it goes against what I said earlier about like it's a gritty reboot. I mean, it's just like it's got that kind of like grit to it. I don't know, man. What do I think is like the perfect media property that doesn't have grit to it? Hey, no grit to this. What is this? Uh, what, what is this? Uh, no, no grit to this. What, what, what is this? The opposite of sandpaper? What do I think is like the perfect media property? Probably the social network. I like the social network. I also like the movie Birdman. I genuinely like the movie Birdman. I like movies about art. Just because like, you know, I can relate to those characters. Like Michael Keaton's character in Birdman was trying to create high art. Remind you of anyone? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Michael Keaton's character was kind of like a clown that wanted to be taken seriously. Remind you of anyone? Karak? Thank you for the six months. Thank you, thank you. Lamau, that sandpaper joke. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Why did the circus goer never tell the truth? Because they were always lying. Oh my god, holy fuck. I mean, this is Richie Epotz. This is Richie Epotz on first place. Oh my god, this is Richie Epotz direct hit on first place. They really had nothing to go for here? Oh! All right, I guess, I guess the Richie Mahjong luck only comes after 6 p.m. That's kind of messed up. Considering they know when I stream Mahjong. Huh, what do we do here? This this hand is pretty good, not gonna lie. This hand is this hand is pretty good, not gonna lie. I mean this is stonks. Can we get much pog champ? So pog, not cringe. Not cringe. All I'm gonna say is I prime subbed and that happened. Absolutely. I mean I, I don't really believe in 
good luck versus bad luck. I believe in I believe in the entropy of the universe. Tell me you're an obnoxious dude in his 20s without telling me you're an obnoxious dude in his 20s. But here's what I think. Genuinely, when I'm at my most depressed, two, three, four, four, five, double-sided weight, uh, we can discard the West Winds or we can discard these. We can discard these because because the the West Winds still allow us to do some Richie Pinfu shenanigans and we can always toss the West Winds later if we don't get into Tempai or if someone else calls a calls like an early Richie right now. But if we have the Richie, do we just do it to him? Do we just more ball over him? Or do we just stay in Domitant? We stay in the darkness. We just stay in the darkness. This is a this is a nice little pinfu hand. I mean, it is early enough. Don't you shouldn't you just always slam the Richie here? We always slam the Richie here. Oh, it does allow uh all simples. We we were a little bit fur farther away from all simples that I would have liked. Maybe if we only had one nine in our one nine in our hand, that would have been okay. All right, now hopefully these other players are gonna have a hard time, hard time making some cuts. Like we're a junior varsity basketball team where every child wants to play. Dude, it was really crushing to my self-esteem when I was younger to like sign up for J J JV, I think like basketball and be put on the B team. That was really, really crushing. But I suppose it's like, I mean, I wasn't very athletic. I also didn't like sitting on the bench when I was playing baseball. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like other people could have could have sought to like help me with my throws and my hits and stuff. No one, no one was really, no one was really helping me out. I suppose it's no one's responsibility to help me out or whatever. But I would have liked a little bit more encouragement slash I don't know fucking advice from the the coaching staff. Manifesting to Aura. I mean, I'm definitely morbing and manifesting right now. Ryloid's chasing my reach. They want a chance to get into first place. They want to. They want to throw hands as well. I'm unfortunately cutting the most, the scariest, uh, the scariest tiles of all time. What kind? Of, this is a joke. This is a joke. This is a joke. It's it's a little raunchy, okay? And I know we usually don't say that. What kind of uh? What kind of pubic hair did Jared Leto have? Yeah. What kind of pubic hair did Jared Leto have? A Morbius landing strip. What do we think? What do we think? Was he Morbius? I should have I should have I should have confirmed that before we start. Who played Morbius? Who played Morbius? Everyone, everyone loves it right now. If, if anyone's only listening on the audio, like, people are fucking loving it in chat right now. I don't know how else to explain it other than that I've never seen this many Lamaos in my entire life. Jared Leto was Morbius. Okay. Okay. What, what about that? Morbius landing strip. I like that. I think that, I think that a, a landing strip is like... Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, fine. But I think that uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't disrupt our pairs right now. Uh, what do we even throw here? Throw this because it's closer to the door. It's more dangerous. I actually think that that was absolutely the correct throw. Um, well, but I think that some things are silly. You know what I mean? I don't mean to yuck anyone's yum. But I think if you have an arrow, like if you if you shave into an arrow, that's silly. That's silly. What, what are you going to say? What are you going to say uh, before having sex? Upvotes to the left? An arrow is very, very silly. Then you are the avatar. Uh, Parther, that was on his forehead. Not, you know, below the below the belt. Like Ong. <laughs> Missed hello, hello. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, this one, three, five shape kind of pog right now. Kind of pog. I, I suppose we'll we'll keep this one three five shape just just because if we draw into a two or a four right now we have Richie Pinfu which is really really nice. What did what uh, did 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 people here like the uh, the M Night Shyamalan Avatar movie? I watched that shit in theaters and I did not like it. I don't like how they changed his name from Ang to Ong. That is like 
That is like the worst. I mean, that's just like, oh my God. You're just making a decision to make a decision. You know, I don't know if that affects it at all. No one liked it. Well, I don't really know what that's like because I mean, it's like my jokes. You know what I mean? My jokes always hit. My jokes are the fucking funniest thing ever. Everybody likes the jokes. And as a result, I don't really know what it's like to be rejected by the populace. Girl Luigi, I hate all your jokes. What the hell? I'm doing this thing where if you're just listening to the audio where every time someone says like minus two, I'll pretend that they said something really nice. And every time someone says something really nice, although it could be ironic, I pretend that they see something really mean. I'm about to deal into right lord and lose my entire family farm. Okay, I'm about to deal into left lord and also lose the family farm. Have you seen this one before, by the way? Both this round and last round, me, myself, and right lord called Richie why and the left lord is there to just slurp up the pieces man we want morbius of your jokes thank you i i also want that i also want that dude i don't know like i don't know how to solve bullying you know what i mean and you're like, you're, you're thinking to yourself, you sung. No one's fucking asking you to solve bullying. Okay, sure. But maybe one day I'm going to get asked to solve bullying. And that's why it's worth thinking about. This is, this is how an anxious mind works. Sometimes I think about like, this is why I don't want to have children. If my child is bullied at school, what am I going to tell them? Punch them back? I don't, I don't necessarily want to say that. Tell the teacher... Yeah, but like, what if the teacher's racist or like a dick or something, you know? Lord Noda, incredible username, thanks for the follow. I would ask Yu Dong to solve bullying. I don't know. Yu Dong, he's, he's a father of three, but I don't know if even he has a good grasp on, on the whole bullying sitch, you know? Is this, is this seven pairs? Tell me this isn't seven pairs right now. When Beth becomes president? Exactly. I gotta have a contingency plan right now. Oh my fucking god, it's seven pairs. Holy shit. Let's go. Throwing hands worked for me. I think I should have thrown more hands in uh in when when I was a young warthog, you know what I mean? When I was in school and stuff. Cause I wouldn't be bullied. Like no one would shove my face in a toilet, which I would I was very grateful for. But people would just do things like like bullying light, which is just like poke my stomach when I did not want to really, really hard. Like just when we're walking past, past each other in high school. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I did not, I did not enjoy that. You know what I mean? I did not enjoy that. So I don't, I don't really know how to solve, solve bullying. But I think it would have been weird if I just socked him one in the, in between biology classrooms. I think you, I think you need to walk your child through several plausible scenarios to train them. How to train your dragon, more like how to train your child. Is that anything? Is that anything? Okay, a crossword called the Ricci. I am still fighting for my damn life right now, but we cannot cobble together a winning hand, even if our life depended on it. By the way, anyone? Cute bunny. Grape juice, this is grape juice on it. So it's a non-alcoholic bar. That's good to know. That's good to know. Like what if what if what if I have a child and they're like, I want to start vaping. What do I say to that? You know what I mean. All my friends are vaping. Ugh. That's that's a tough scenario. That's an absolutely tough scenario. This is, I mean, if a like this is the one thing that I think Chat GPT should try to help solve. You know what I mean? Just different scenarios for fictional children. High five. You want to start? You want to start vaping? Here you go. Take my old vape. It's on the house. Tell them to get new. Tell them to get new friends. Animal Crossing new friends. I mean, that's the thing about my high school is that I graduated with a class of 89. I don't know if you know this, but that's not a, that's not a large number. That's a very small number. It's a small number indeed. What are we? The last, the, the two presidents ago, their inauguration crowd. Political, hot button political issue. Kind of, kind of cracked, kind of cracked with it. Kind of, kind of laying down the law in terms of the commentary today. 
I'm glad that the first thing I saw when joining today was the lion joke. So the Sid, so just to just to just to check with you, it's only gone up from there, right? It's only gotten better. My class was almost 2K people in high school. Karak, were you in a basketball video game? Because that's NBA 2K. That's incredible. Even if I wanted new friends, I, di I didn't even have the damn opportunity to try to find new friends, you know? Not a lot of opportunities when your class when your class is just like three people to, to get some new friends. By the way, what are we effing throwing right now? Three of bamboo? Are you Are you serious? Seven of circles. Oh, he's cracked. He's absolutely cracked. But what are we going to throw after this? One of one of characters or three of bamboo? Three of bamboo is kind of safe. I need someone to like throw a an actual safe tile. Thank you. I could kiss you on the mouth right now. That was an absolutely goaded discard. So anything else that, that's safe? I, dude, I need these bozos to... Oh, lordy. They have tapes. Oh, lordy. Oh, lord. Tell me how to say no to this. I don't know how to say. They called Richie, and then they called Richie. They called Richie, and then they called Richie. Oh, my God. I'm throwing the three. It passed. Wait, who called Richie first? Who killed Virginia Wolf? Oh, six of a circle. The circle is safe. Okay, here. That's fine. That's fine. We're, we're chilling. We're bing chilling, dude. We are huge chilling mode. Chilling like a Krillin from... From uh, Dragon Ball Z. Is that anything? How do comedians end their jokes? Because I don't think every comedian ends their joke with, is that anything? And yet, here I go, ending every single joke with, is that everything? It doesn't necessarily inspire a lot of confidence from the crowd. I suppose a comedian just like holds for applause, you know? And they just kind of you know, coy smile. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What? What did the Disney villain, where did the Disney villain like to hang out in their spare time? A shopping Maleficent. Holding the mic out. Holding the mic out for the audience. Comedians don't really hold the, the mic out to their audience. Singers hold the mic out to their audience when they want you to sing like, boom, clap, the sound of my heart. You know what I mean? That's that's what singers do. That's what singers do. End jokes with Bazinga. Bazinga is like a nice little cheat code. It gives a veil of irony. Like, oh, we weren't really trying. Bazinga, you know? But I don't, I, I like to lay my heart on the line, you know? I think most comedians end their jokes with please, please laugh. Hey, if, <laughs> hey, if, if successful comedians ended with please laugh, uh, Jeb Bush would be on SNL. I'm reminded of your father, uh, of my father by your jokes. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I'll take that as a compliment. This is a weird situation where we just want to get into Tempai and call Richie no matter what. No matter what, we want to keep this game going, you know? Then we're going to go to Virginia. Then we're going to go to the White House. Yeah! A little Howard Dean for you. A little Howard Dean for you. Every time I sumo for a, for a thousand points, I always go mission accomplished. You, like the George Bush banner. Oh my god, we're going to lose. We're going to lose, aren't we? Left Lord's, Left Lord's pawning the green dragons. Our hand is like close, but no cigar right now. I'm reminded of your father by your jokes. That's interesting. I don't think my dad would necessarily make these jokes, but that's okay. That's okay. To each their own, right? One, two, three, four, five. Are these really going to be the droids that I'm searching for? Am I really about to throw away the red five? I suppose I should, right? If we're going tile efficiency, if we're going Kyle efficiency... Howard Dean's nuts. Frick, I just got boomed. 
Oh man, dude, Th this is this is. I think I gotta cut the five and then the three. I think I gotta cut the five and the three. You're not gonna like this. You're, you're not gonna like this at all. But I think this is genuinely the move. I think this is genuinely the move right now. I think all we need to do is win this hand. We don't need to win it by a lot. Right Lord's gonna call a Ricci. If we play safe here, where does that get us? Where does that get us? It gets us somewhere only we know, I think. I think that's where it gets us. This is not a great situation for your boy. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you there. We might be able to do all simps. We might be able to do all simps two door here. We have to do a little bit of a Jeremy Pivens right now. This is this is not a good situation for your boy right now. Either Left Lord deals in, which is Pog, or uh or we lose a, a horrible, horrible death. Because if Right Lord sumos. Can everyone still see me? We're going to leave it up for the end screen. Folks, that's going to do it for today. Exclamation mark Discord if you want to talk to us there. Hey, uh, we're going to be back Wednesday, 4 p.m. PST, Friday. 4 p.m. PST. Exclamation mark YouTube. New YouTube videos. Monday through Friday. Hope to see you there. Thank you for hanging out and having a having a good time with me. Deadly Snow Cone. Mist. Oishi. Street Luck. Karak. Lol. Bet. Ellie. Butts. Janitals. Tic Tac Tiger. Life Cereal. Lol. Bet. Cryboy Gray. JP. Parthernax. Triptych. Crits. Jerome House. Lord Noda. Sata Sid. Squishy Arm. Super. Anon Emo. There we go. He actually did it. Squubby. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. I'll see you in the Discord immediately. I'll see you in the Discord immediately. Please take care of yourself, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Bye.